What if I want to? I'm journaling. I have to say, it does not get much better than like, I mean, good time, like, you know, just yeah. shooting shit, talking about whatever. Uh-huh. But like, it's also like ambiently cool. And then tomorrow's Halloween. It's like very nice. I know. It's very, and, it's, and tomorrow's Sunday too. Yeah. It's just like, I could sleep. It's Halloween in. your favorite of the whole year. Oh yeah. Easily. Yeah, yeah. Figured. And we, um, this year has been weird because normally I like try to do the front yard. Well, you came over. Yeah. You have the front yeah, yard. So I, normally I do like a lot more than that, but the wind out there. Oh been, yeah. It, that, especially that day. It was whipping dude. And I've like now this year I've cut back like so many of my animatronics and like things that I have out, outside because they just fucking fall over. My whole thing is I've never really wanted to get into like the whole like crazy decorations for every holiday. Yeah. Because I kind of know where to fucking put it the rest of the year. We do. We have a storage unit. That's, uh, that, see, that's the way to do it. Yeah. I think it just gets bigger and bigger every year. I think yeah. that's the problem. It, our neighborhood like is really good about like putting up decorations for like m- mostly Halloween and Christmas. So you don't feel compelled to like, ha- you don't have to do it yet. I mean, last year, like our neighbor was like, are you going to put up Christmas lights? It's like yeah. almost time. I was like, I fucking guess I will now. Yeah. Like, well, I wasn't planning on it, but the way your life is going to change, you're going to have to go either Christmas or Halloween. You're going to yeah. you're going to be forced to at some point. Yeah. But that's a good scenario. I, I would rather it be Halloween yeah. than Christmas because I can get more into that. Right. Well, I think I think it's a either way, it's um it's pretty fun because there are so many like there's so many cool things like if you're into the blow up stuff, right? There's a bazillion of those to get. If you're into the animatronics, there's a bazillion of yeah. animatronics to get. Um I just like, I just don't have enough room in storage to keep buying more. Right. You know, you and then like recycle it out. Yeah. And then this year I did, I purposely didn't put up a couple of things cause everything kept blowing down. Yeah. It's like frustrating. Okay. So I got to go in. So we had, we need 10. Okay. But we have like 14. Yeah. Oh, we are over. Yeah. yeah. So we're over. It was hard to, I was like, Oh yeah, that guy, that guy, that guy, that guy. Okay. Is, I mean, is there a brutality section or what, what are we looking so at? Yeah. So our, our, our categories are body count. Uh huh. Stealth and gruesomeness. God, those are good. But there's another wild there's a card category. There's yeah. a wild card which you should probably do a slash here so we can do two. Is like their signature or their style, like style points. Fucking great. Um, and I kind of had this other thing about body count. I want this whole thing to be completely wrong and objective or subjective. Yeah. Body count is a little too specific. Like if we just if it's like oh you have the high you have a high body count you get this many stars because it's out of five stars. Yeah, I mean because you could. So have- we could do like body count like quality of body count. I know that's not. I don't know how else to do that. What like if body count is just an arbitrary like. Yeah. It is what it is. Like if they had two, but like they're super gruesome and stealthy, like could still put them at the top. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. If, I, or like, uh, like, like the, those two could have counted for like ten. Like, I'm, right. I'm seeing like some of them on here. Like, the people they were killing were more difficult to kill, mm. as opposed to some of the other ones. Mm. So that's where I'm kind of like, it, it could be. Again, it could. Be, it's all. It's all arbitrary and whatever. Right. So just keep that in mind when we rank the body. When we do the stars on the body count, and it's out of, it'll be out of five stars. Five stars. Yeah. And then. Okay. Okay. I, one of my favorite. Ooh, that sounds weird. One of my favorites. It's not. I don't uh, dude, we're gonna be saying wait, this the whole time. But, but, we I, we couldn't figure out with like a PC way to do it. It's there's like, no PC way. Like we just have to go for it. One of my favorites on there is it, just before we start mm-hmm. is Richard Chase. I'm very, I'm so like elated that he's on that list. Most people forget about him, but he's from our. He's from here. Yeah, well, when I was researching all this, I, I told him I was like, dude, we have to put this guy in there. Yeah, After I, I looked at it, yeah. I was like, you know, he's in there. Do you know like, what else he's can, he's known as? Hmm. So the Vampire of Sacramento, right? Yeah. Fucking Dracula killer. Dude, what? <laughs> you win on the name alone. That could have been a category too. Oh, the I, I yeah, like the nicknames. Yeah, like I know. who has the best nickname? Who has the best nickname. Like fucking Dracula killer, dude. That's the scariest thing. The reason that I know about scary. Richard Chase is actually I've been trying to figure out a way to crack a story because that's set in the seventies. Mm-hmm. I'd love to make that film. Like, Ooh, that'd nobody, be cool. like nobody's making a Richard Chase movie, and I f- just fucking think it'd kill. Interesting. Get it. Okay. Oh, okay. good one. Yeah. We'll, we'll be executive producers. Did you get it? Yeah, there you go. Did you get it? I would kill. <laughs> yes. Okay. <laughs> so we're going to attempt to rank serial killers based on our very scientific um, method here. Mm-hmm. We have 10 serial killers. Each of them will be ranked on four different categories. The categories are... Body count, stealth, gruesomeness, and style points. Yes. <laughs> Very cool. Very cool. So, 
I guess I don't know how we want to go about doing it in order because if we go like the top down of our list and we're going to hit like all of the heavy hitters first, mm -hmm. which they're all heavy hitters, um, or we can kind of jump around and go in whatever order we want. So that's up to you guys. I don't know if we want to hit like all of the famous ones first or we can just kind of pick a pick one randomly right now. Do we get a bio or some context? Be yeah. Yes. Okay. Yep. Yeah, How we about, do. Pick a number between one and ten. Seven. Seven. What's the seventh one on your list? Robert Hansen. Okay. Robert Hansen. The Butcher Baker was an American serial killer between 1971 and 1983. Hansen abducted, raped, and murdered at least 17 women around the Anchorage, Alaska. Around Anchorage, Alaska. He hunted many of them down in the wilderness with a Ruger Mini 14 and a knife. He was arrested and convicted in 1983 and was sentenced to 461 years and a, oh, and a life sentence. Without possibility of parole, he died in 2014 of natural causes due to lingering health issues in 19... Oh, at the age of 75. So, body count? He's got 17. 17. Hmm, that's quite a bit. That's a decent amount. Um, Question. Yes. I forgot to ask this before we started the whole thing. Hmm. How do we rank that in terms of stars? that's that that was my that was sort of my qualm was like <laughs> I, don't, I don't know how we i don't know i guess it's subjective like like there's three stars like <laughs> I, I guess yeah because well because there's some people on here with like four but and like there's some people with like a hundred not really but okay you get the you get the idea oh robert christian hansen known as the butcher baker okay hold on, was he see. by chance <clears throat> the killer the film butcher baker nightmare maker was Based off, of, I, I don't is know. Ref, isn't he's the film um, Frozen Ground is based on him with John Cusack playing him and oh. Nicolas Cage yeah. playing the detective. Oh, I didn't realize that. Fucking great movie. Yeah, no, it, it, yeah, that is a good movie, and that's a scary dude. Yeah, yeah, and it, it's <clears throat> it's very like um, the way he did everything was very like uh, most dangerous game. Yeah, he would just on his plane drop him off in Alaska and hunt them. That's scary. That's freaky. It's yeah. really scary. Um, fuck. I mean, <sighs> so do you know? Do you know about Robert Hansen a little bit? I mean, you, other now than, that other he's than telling what me, I just read. like, so I'd seen the film okay. that I didn't know it was based on. So if I can recount that too, I'm just assuming that's what, somewhat accurate. Also, what you told me was very helpful. So here's 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 my here's my problem. My only problem with <laughs> serial killers. Yeah. Yes, he killed 17 of them. Also in Alaska. Kind of a lot of space out in Alaska. Also, it's in the 70s. Yeah. Isn't that not the only place? I mean... That seems like if you're going to kill somebody... It's kind it, of the place... Or it's like got to be in Alaska. It seems like kind of low-hanging fruit to start murdering people in Alaska. I mean, yeah. Like, 17 is a lot, though. That's a lot. It's a lot of people. It's... You have... Basically, you have... You have... Uh, you have, like, balls... <laughs> that's not you know a yeah. great way to describe someone's we're, we're throwing all pc culture <laughs> yeah. out the fucking window but here. he's he's, he's got balls yeah he's essentially uh very brave if you will mm -hmm. um <laughs> yeah, uh, what a brave man he yeah. was he's he's <laughs> it's one of our best yeah <laughs> that's uh that's a it's a really like i would say the stealthy part that's pretty stealthy though also because but, middle of nowhere flying people around just letting them out and just you know hunting i them guess out. is it really stealth if where you're at is just inherently well i think he he, he, was act, he was actively doing this for 12 years. He is controlling the situation, which yeah. is pretty stealthy. Over a decade, he did this uncaught. I guess there was a couple on here. So it says like the known victims and uh, like, yeah, uh, I, I saw that Celia, thing. Beth Van Zenten, whatever. Hansen denied killing her, but is suspected, bec suspected because of an X on his aviation map. Uh, well, so he had an aviation map with an they, X on it. They found a body at that X. Yeah, I know. That's not very fucking stealthy. <laughs> that part, yeah. <laughs> that I mean, part, yeah. <laughs> but I'm, I'm saying the fact that he got away with this for this amount of time. You got to lower your standards because like half of these dudes got away with it. So if we give this dude four stars off the bat for dying in prison at 75, I'm just saying. Yeah, so um, the name the name is like a category that is just a name. Like that's not... Yeah, that's just so we can identify okay. the person. I guess I should so, write them up. There. So how do yeah. we do? We collectively agree on a yeah number. Yeah. Okay. So what? Okay. So his body count seventeen is a lot. 
What can we do? Half stars or just? Yeah. I, I say two and a half stars. Two and a half stars. I mean, uh, obviously that's up for debate, but I, that's what I would go with. I'm, I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that because again, I think I think that being in Alaska, it's not like you know these other guys were you know in the cities and and stuff like that, like evading. Yeah. Right. You know, it seems like a pretty open area in Alaska where you could potentially get away with this easier. So I'm not saying that. I mean, 17's a lot, and he got away with it for a while. Yeah. There are dudes that have done it in harder places for longer amounts of time. <clears throat> and here's the justification for me for the two and a half, is that, like, he was controlling the situation, meaning he knew exactly how many people he was going to kill. Yeah. So, it's like, you know, I would hope he would, I would hope not, sounds bad, I would hope he would get him knowing that he had set all of it up. You know, like, right. if he didn't, he'd be a poor serial killer. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Um... So I think for stealth, like, are we, is that a one through 10? We're, all of them out of five, five stars. Five. Oh, okay. So, I mean, I think for stealth, like, I think it's a, it's a solid three for me. Yeah. I, I was going to say three or four. I'm good with three. Yeah, yeah. Three. Give them a three. Three it up. Okay. So what do we know about the, it sounds like he's, he's, he's doing knife and gun. Knife and gun. That's, that's bad. You know, he, that's he lazy. doesn't come back to fuck him. No, he's not weird. He yeah. doesn't cut him up and eat him. It seems like I he's. I gotta say, he's just lazy. It's very banal. I mean, very not bang for your buck. No. If you know, I mean, what one or two, I guess, just maybe by the sheer amount. But the group, no, but this is gruesomeness. Yeah, I, I mean, go, I go one. Yeah, I mean, this is. A, it, I, I think this is just classic guy wants to kill people. Yeah. Because he wants to kill people, not he wants to kill them and eat them and be. Yeah, gross there's no weird. monster quality. You yeah. know, like there's mm-hmm. nothing like. Mm-hmm. You know, he's he's a. I think part of that is we're desensitized today mm-hmm. because of like that's how it's done. Mm-hmm. You know, like none mm-hmm. of these guys are shit compared to a regular day in America. But in the, we're talking seventies, we're talking eighties, nineties. Right. Like, these are scary times. But this guy goes and uses a gun and a knife. But my question: Do we count any of the raping for the gruesomeness? Yo, I would think so. That's okay. that's a gruesome. I, I, I guess, yeah, yeah, I guess. But that seems like it's. <sighs> They all do it, right? <laughs> right? Yeah, they all do they it. Do. They he, do. he was a he is a rapist. Yeah, yeah. He would all of them or just? Nah, like I don't know about all of them. But most of them. They I put guess. him in there as a abducted, raped, and murdered. So. Yeah. I mean, th- this guy for me, uh, you know, he feels like a he feels like a four. On what? Or no, on out of five, not out of five. Sorry, he he feels more like a a one and a half for I, me. I, I'm thinking like one or yeah. two. Yeah, one. One. We'll go one. We'll go one. We'll go one. No. We can't do math, so adding the half stars. God. Oh, okay. So yeah, the signature thing. I feel like this guy shouldn't get any stars. I mean, think about it though. He is flying them out. You know, only access to the places he's taking them is by plane or boat. That's crazy. Here's the thing. Here's why I go higher on the style points. You're you're fucking doing the most dangerous game on your own accord, and you're you're, you're imagine being put in a forest and being like, go run. You're going to die. It's just a matter of when. Right. Fuck that. I got to give him at least a... And this is out of five also? Yeah. All of them out of five. I got to give him... That's true. I gotta it's give a, him it's a, a lot of fucking work to get him out in the middle of the yeah. woods. You got to be a fucking charmer. I gotta you got to be, be a charmer. I got to go three at minimum. Three uh-huh. out of three out of five? I was going to go four. Four? Nah, three. I'll give him three. Three? Yeah, that's for, for me yeah, for style. I'll I give mean, him three. Okay. If you want to average one. it out, yeah. Like, like one? <laughs> I just... That's... It's pretty scary. Mm-hmm. I mean, you know, the, the flying around. So out of 20, he ends up at nine and a half. Okay. That's not that high. Nope. Which, again, this is our very, First very point. scientific... I mean, yeah. this, I don't make the rules, dude. Like, yeah. these are facts. I know. Okay? That, uh, Quantico is going to be calling soon and wondering how did we crack the code. I, I mean, <laughs> we definitely are getting put on some sort of list after this. <laughs> right. Exactly. For sure, if we weren't already. <laughs> yeah. um, make this one for members only. Okay, so that was... Uh, <laughs> We just did Robert Hansen. Let's do... Um, okay, let's do uh, not another super well-known one just for fun. We'll do Eileen Woronos. Mm-hmm. American killer and prostitute who murdered seven men in Florida in 1989 and 1990. Man, short time span. By shooting them at point-blank range, Woronos claimed that her victims had either raped or attempted to rape her while they were soliciting sex from her and that all of the homicides committed were in self-defense. She was sentenced to death for six of the murders and was executed by lethal injection 
a lethal injection on October 9th, 2002. Kind of impressed. This bitch is cool, man. Yeah, her, her story, and I think that actually is not, like, that doesn't give justice of how gruesome. It was, I don't, from my understanding, it wasn't like just a gunshot to the head. Like, she was, like, no holes barred. Like, this is shooting in the, says, in the so. faces and, you know, multiple times. Like, I think she was a very angry uh, serial killer. Definitely a vendetta against men, for sure. Uh, November 30th, 1989, electronic store owner in Clearwater, Wardos's first victim had previously been convicted for attempted rape. She claimed to have killed him in self-defense. Wardos claimed she was sodomized and brutally beaten after being driven to an abandoned area for sexual requests. Two days later, uh, Volusia County Deputy Sheriff found, Mal- found Malaroy's body in an abandoned vehicle on December 13th. His body was several miles away in a wooded area. had been shot several times, two bullets to the left lung, two... Okay, uh, another one. Another guy had been shot nine times with a twenty-two caliber weapon. The body had been wrapped in an electric blanket and was badly decomposing when found. At least she wrapped him in a blanket. <laughs> Witnesses saw Warnos in possession of the car, blah, blah, blah. So, yeah, it sounds like she was just driving these dudes out in the middle of nowhere, wanting to bang him and then killing him. Yeah, and Maybe, actually... Yeah, I, I, yeah. It, it sounds... I mean, it does sound... The way that's presented is it, it, it does feel more revenge ish. Which I like. Which is like. I'm I totally mean, into that. How is she not a hero and not just another Death Wish movie? Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, I mean, in any other movie, if that's a dude, uh, he's the hero. That's true. But like, she's just right and wrongs. Yeah. Um, but the movie was super brutal. So I don't. Again, that's the movie. Yeah. Uh, you know, but like, she's doing some stuff that's, you know, pretty. It's, it appears pretty basic. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I don't. The electric I mean, shooting somebody person. nine times. I mean, I, th- I guess. But yeah, you had a gun, though. It's fine. You know what I mean? That, that's what I was talking about. I, I don't think it was just like a one and done thing. I think she was letting out a little you know, excessive. Yeah. 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 A lot of force there. Okay. What are we given for? What's the first one? I can't read it from body, body count. count. Body count. It was what, seven victims in just under two years? Yep. Se- seven that's a good seven, amount for a short amount of time yeah i mean that's a damn near one every month she and a went, half she once she every two for months. It. it's more than once one every two months yeah i mean i'm i'm comfortable with the three i was I'm just, just three on a time. body count yeah i'm good with three i like it three i'll give it three all right stealth this is an interesting one considering her uh, modus Operandi was, uh, you know, to pretend she's going out for prostitution. Right. I think that's ultimate still. Yeah. yeah and it's that's like pretty good. That's stuff. deceiving. You can't just yeah. dis- you can't discount that. No. Uh, that might that might be up in the that might be I a, think four. a four. Yeah. 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 I'd, I'd, I'd give that a four. I'm I think that's you. badass. Gruesomeness. <sighs> one. Yeah. I mean, I'm mean, like I'm, a one. I'm with you. On yeah. That. Again. Our bar will be raised a lot with these other dudes. <laughs> oh yeah. So, all right. Style points. Style points. I kind of like. I'll, I, I'm into it. Like, what are you feeling? Over? Are you feeling more the, than three? Just, just the theatrics of it. Like, yeah. yeah. I'm gonna bang you. She said one of these dudes was fully clothed, so she just drove out there and was like gonna bang this guy. Like, no, nope, I'm not even gonna let you get naked yet. I'm just gonna kill you before. Didn't you even, even let get him that. see a titty. Didn't even, no, no titties. Just killed him. Just kill I, I mean, can, honestly, that's that might be in the that might be approaching four territory. That's, that's kind of yeah. what I'm thinking too. I'm thinking I think I think the whole the the long game of it, like I'm gonna pretend I was a prostitute and I'm gonna find these dudes that have beaten me or raped me or wronged me. Yeah, and I'm gonna I'm gonna kill them. I think that's cool. I think that's that that seems like <laughs> that seems more level headed than any of these other people on here. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah, this at least feels There's like at I, least a motive, like yeah. a, a real motive. Yeah, so. I'm into that. Okay. What's the score on her? What's the math? Okay. Let's see. It's 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 12. Okay. We are moving up the board. She takes first place. All right. Um, who do we want to do next? Should we do a big one? Let's do uh, John Wayne Gacy. Let's okay. JWG is my boy. The clown. Just kidding. I'm going to edit that out. Maybe not. <laughs> Maybe not. <laughs> Um, John Wayne Gacy, known as a clown killer, assaulted and murdered at least 33 young men and boys, would trick victims into putting on handcuffs as a magic trick, then rape and torture them before killing them by either 
asphyxiation or strangulation. 26 bodies found in a crawl space of his home executed on death row by lethal injection. Dude, this this fucking wow. guy, is, he, his body count is a five. Right? I mean, that's a lot. That's that's, that's, that's so, so many people. There's and that's there's only twenty what something in his house. There's more elsewhere. Like yeah, and I think recently they found that he was responsible for even more. Wow. Uh, that, and the ones under his house were just the ones under his house. Right. I, and, yeah. And imagine like the smell. He probably loved it. Yeah. I mean, he's no. He's one of the quote unquote greats in terms of the serial killer right. followings. I mean. He's got to be a five, right, for body count? I mean, he's what makes clowns creepy. He did not do a good service for clowns. No. Definitely hurt the industry. I mean, let's be real. Yeah, him and Pennywise are not helping. (laughs) No. (laughs) Clown masks are half off. (laughs) I mean, that's fucking... Yeah, I got to go with a five on body count. Yeah, that's just a lot. Yeah. 33? Like, confirm 33. That's hardcore, dude. And 20... I guess 26 confirmed. 26? Okay, okay, hold on. Let me Yeah, yeah. Let yeah. me play God's advocate here. Okay. They Perfect. are young boys. Mm-hmm. Not like he's doing it to adults who maybe have a bit I, I more. I said fighting boys power. and young men. Young men what, though. What, what have you say, seen this the, dude? This dude looks like the Kool-Aid man. He's I know. he's fat as shit. What's the oldest victim? I it should have victims in there. Oh my god, we have the same birthday. You and Gacy? Me and me and JW me and J, me and JWG. We gotta dude. go. Yeah. John exactly. Wayne Gacy, March seventeenth, same year too, nineteen forty two. Are, are those clown shoes in your closet? Yeah. Hey, look, dude. It's a tradition in our family. Okay. Oh fuck. Yeah. <laughs> That's so scary. Um, the murders. Uh, I don't know. It, I, I, I don't know. It doesn't say. I mean, dude. Anytime you get over twenty, you're. Yeah. You're, in, you're you're approaching like That's like Hall of Fame. Yeah, you're you're yeah. so insane. Give him five. I'm I'm cool with a five. I was just I'm just saying. It's good. No, it's good to bring up. But just that's so many. Gruesomeness. Stealth. Oh, stealth. <sighs> that's. Uh, I this do, gets I dicey, do like, man, because yeah, he is dressing up like a clown. But like, it's like you know he's there. You know exactly, yeah. exactly. And, and, and with the trickery, to like, hey, I'm going to do a magic trick. Put these handcuffs on. Yeah. But, like, or is that style points, though? That that's, that feels styly to me. The stealth part is... um. He found... That he did, wasn't trying to hide it, I guess. Like, they found 26 in his in his thing, right? It's like, he's kind of asking to get caught. I, yeah. Why, why, did, I, why I, did it take them so long? <laughs> like, you did know, you, did, did somebody escape? Is that... Or did, was it somebody calling on the smell or... Um. Okay, so... Okay, there was a search warrant. First search warrant. Suspecting Gary might be holding Peast. I'm assuming that's one of the victims. Peast against his will in his home. Um, Des Plaines police obtained a search warrant to search Gacy's house on December 13th. The search of Gacy's property revealed several suspicious items, including several police badges and a 6 millimeter Beretta starter pistol inside an office drawer and a syringe and a hypodermic needle inside a cabinet's Gacy's bathrooms. Why do you have police badges? Investigators also found handcuffs, books on homosexuality, and pederasty? Oh, that's probably pedophilia. Seven, I I don't know. I'm not not a fucking, yeah, homosexual between adult man. Sorry. Um, Seven pornographic film. Seven, specifically. That's good. (laughs) Capsules of amyl nitrate nitrite and an 18 inch dildo in gacy's <laughs> wow that okay, is a, i mean that yeah, is a monster is that a red that's, flag that's a, is that I the mean, red flag his style points went up i'll tell you that <laughs> something went a up 39 inch two by four with two holes drilled in each end bottles of valium and entropy <laughs> if that's and several true driver's license found they were in dead the before yeah. <laughs> the, the dildo got him bro a blue hooded parka <laughs> was found atop a toolbox inside a laundry oh. room. An underwear too small to fit Gacy was located inside a bathroom closet. Now they're, so now they're just fat shaming him. <laughs> like, oh, man. Oh, fuck. Um, okay, guess what? That was the first search warrant. Here's the second search warrant. <laughs> oh, the same evening. Why would you need a second? I, I, I don't know. Arrest this yeah, man. Just take him home yeah. to the jail. Uh, okay, not not the same evening. Okay, sorry. On December 19th, investigators investigators began compiling evidence for a second search warrant on Gacy's house. The same day, Gacy's lawyer filed a civil suit against the Des Plaines, Des Plaines police. The hearing 
While flushing Gacy's toilet, the officers the, the officer noticed a smell he suspected could be that of a rotting corpse emanating from the heating duct. Mm. The officers who had searched Gacy's house previously had failed to notice this as the house had been cold. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Also denying any knowledge of his whereabouts, he soon refused to continue questioning Rossi's erratic and inconsistent responses to questions while attached to the polygraph. Okay, I'm not seeing. Ah, da, 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 da. However, further discuss uh, further discuss the trench digging he did in the crawl space and remarked on Gacy's insistence that he was not to deviate from where he was instructed to dig. Cram informed Gacy's attempts to rape him in 1976. He stated that after he and Gacy returned to his home on December 13th, the search of his property, Gacy had turned pale after seeing a clot of mud on his carpet, which he suspected had come from the crawl space. Cram said Gacy had grabbed a flashlight and immediately entered a crawl space looking for evidence of digging. When asked whether he had been in into the crawl whether he'd been in the crawl space cram replied he had once been asked by gacy to spread lime down there and he also dug trenches which gacy had explained were for drainage pipes cram stated these trenches were two feet by six feet Mm -hmm. long size of graves sorry that there wasn't anything in there i thought they were going to go into what they found and everything but um they got a diagram of the crawl space um okay sorry i'll probably get that that if you need to no no it's fine yeah it's gonna um, okay, what's the next one? Sorry. Stealth. I have a hard time with stealth because it's a tricky one. Yeah, because it you doesn't could, seem to be trying to be very stealthy. No, you could make the argument that uh the clown with the clown facade disarmed people mm-hmm. and that was stealthy, you know? Yeah. Uh but I don't know. I'd give him like a two or a three. I, I was thinking maybe two. Yeah. Yeah. I'll give him a two. Okay. Um, okay. Gruesome? Yeah. What do you think, Jordan? <clears throat> the sight of, uh, the thought of a, you know. <laughs> 18-inch dildo? <laughs> well, that scares me. Probably that's, probably that's more the, than the, the handcuffs. Yeah. Probably like a whole documentary, docuseries <laughs> yeah. on the dildo itself. Right. Also, I, mean, I want to know who's making 18-inch dildos. Right. Um, that's too big. Yeah, that's... <laughs> I mean, that's what I'm saying. Is like, did anybody do any research? Like, that could have been the culprit. Like, it's <laughs> like they, that's how could have could have been cause of death. Um, the I don't know, man. Like, three, two, two or three. I would say probably three. You know, if it was if we confirm the dildo, I'd definitely bump it to a four. But I don't know if that it is. <laughs> Again, we're we're really trying. We're really brushing through these. Like, they have a they have got a whole multiple paragraphs on the crawl space itself and all that like that would be interesting to read we're not going to do all that right now because yeah. a i i value my sleep i've and i've had a few so like I can't, my, my reading was not good to begin with it's not going to be good right now so <laughs> but i mean it wouldn't would you is it crazy to think that he probably killed them in very insignificant i mean significant to killed him but very simple ways and then just buried him yeah like yeah. toyed with them maybe you know yeah there um, wasn't any it didn't seem like there was really any like uh, to our knowledge, like mutilation while they yeah. were alive or anything. He, he, it. he, he just wanted to get him back to his house and get him back to his crib and rape and, him. and kill him and rape yeah. him and, I mean, and bury him. He sounds more like a, a sexual deviant yeah. in, in many ways. Mm-hmm. Um, and then really, once you rape and, and pillage somebody, you can't like There's, be like, all right, well, have a good night. Don't say anything. Yeah. You know, like he killed him. Yeah. Right. Um, For sure. That's when the monster, the 18 inch monster comes out, you know? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Now, yeah, the real monster is this dildo. <laughs> He's like, you the thought I was bad? <laughs> the, dude, what if the dildo's dressed up like a clown? <laughs> That's fucking... Like, this, this, <laughs> they go there. <laughs> and if you squeeze it, it goes... <laughs> it's it's fucking fucking horrible. Horrible. Or like, mom, That's, why does that clown have an 18-inch boner? He just has the dildo <laughs> like in his pants. <laughs> It's it, was got a a name. Di- it was a discount clown. It's okay. <laughs> it's got a name. Don't judge. Yeah. Jesus. Fuck you know Christ. what? I do appreciate though. He's the only one to do it in the clown suit. Like no, no one else. I mean, that's like 
classic. Do we know he's murdering in like in clown attire? Is he like oh full leather God, face? I, I, don't, I, I don't think yeah. there's any way to know. Could you imagine? I mean, I'm going to set the, the tone for the... And this is going to be gross, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, please. Okay? But imagine you're getting... You know, you're getting defiled, okay? You in, know. In your life. <laughs> and you happen to look in the mirror and see the clown behind you, you know, tearing your shit up. And then you you know that's it. You're done. C- can you imagine how fucking horrible that is? The last thing you see in front of you is a big 18 inch purple dildo. That's it. Like, you're maybe you're even trying to reach for it because you know it would hurt if you hit it's him a with weapon it. weapon at that yeah. point. But he grabs it and shoves it in your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> and then he continues doing what he's doing, and then you've got a whole horse scene. This is this is a very terrible thing. Did you say a horse scene? You making a horse cock joke? <laughs> no, horse, horse. It's a horse clown <laughs> dick dildo. <laughs> I mean, I don't know if he was in full makeup. What is he? Was he in the getup? I don't know. But if he was, that's style points. That is style points. All right. So, were we saying? Were we say three from gruesomeness? Is that what we said? Yeah. I mean, that's what I think for me. Yeah. Okay. E- either a two or a three. But I'm I'm down with three. That's fine. And then style points, it's got to be at least a four. At least a four. I'm with you. Okay. I mean, he, the fucking bit, the clown bit. He did that for a lot forever. I mean, dude, he owns it. Like that's his. That's thing. his, his thing. Yeah, no yeah. one else can copy that. No, that's him. Because if you do, it's not he. He's the reason why when you see clowns, like you said earlier, like you're like, mm, I'm gonna pass. Yeah. Do I, we? I think we should give him a five. Five. I'm good. I think two. let's give him a fucking fiver. Honorary five. Honorary okay. five. Okay. Because Our first five. No wow. one else. You know, can do the clown like no one else has done the clown thing. The clown thing was like, it's his thing. That's yeah. totally true. He's got a fifteen, and he also he did a lot. Yeah, this wasn't like a, a lot. one-time thing. Like, yeah. No, he's he's an OG oh, when it comes man. to uh, finding to, like t- mo- over twenty bodies. Twenty. What did I say? Twenty six bodies. Twenty six in the crawl space. In this crawl space. Oh, my god, it's terrible shit. It is. Um. Next, who do we want next? But who do we want his next? Total was fifteen. Okay. So he's at he's he's the top now. He's number one. Um, let's do Richard Chase. Oh, the vampires! I don't know a lot about this guy. Um, Sam, can you can you read this, please? Let me write it down first. Thanks. This guy is uh, one of the scariest because he's from Sacramento, right? He is. He's in here. Yeah. I mean, but what his but his his methodology. Wait, 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 is is unlike others. You sure you can see it? Yeah, okay. I'm not fucking 50. I'm sorry, I am. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Richard Trenton Chase was an American serial killer, rapist, cannibal, and necrophile who killed six people in the span of a month in 1977 oh. and 78 in Sacramento. Uh, he was nicknamed the Vampire of Sacramento because he drank the victim's blood and cannibalized their remains. <laughs> He no would joke. attempt to enter the homes of women, but because their doors were locked, he walked away. <laughs> Smart guy. Chase here. later told detectives that he took locked doors as a sign that he was not welcome, but unlocked doors were an invitation to come inside. That's like vampires. Yeah. On one occasion, he was caught and chased off by a couple returning home as he pilfered their belongings. He had also urinated and defecated on their infant child's bed and clothing. On January 23rd, 78, Chase broke into a house and shot Teresa Wallen, who's three months pregnant at the time, three times, then had sexual intercourse with her corpse while stabbing her with a butcher's knife. He then removed multiple organs, cut off one of her nipples, and drank her blood. He stuffed dog feces um, from Wallen's yard down her throat before leaving. I mean, honestly, beat that. I think I need yeah. to take a ten here. Like, that was <laughs> this dude is. Oh, nuts. I've never heard of this guy. He's legit scary. Yeah, I mean, and that's no, like a ter- that's a terrifying like, human being. Like, let's move out of sack. Nobody, yeah. like, nobody talks about this guy. And like John Wayne Gacy gets a lot of credit for being you know scary clown guy. Right. But what this guy did was, you know, he didn't just stop at killing you. He he fu- he cut off your nipples and he put dog shit down your mouth, ripped out your organs. Organs ate part of you. Yeah, like what else can you do? Oh, God. I mean, and he's a scary looking dude, yeah, too. He, he looks like a vampire. I'm telling you, like, this guy is, he's out of control and he's fucking freaky. 70s were weird. A movie about him would be nuts. Yeah. Would love that. Uh, I'm giving him a five on the body. Uh, same. Man, six in a month. That's, I, I mean, mean, that's, that's, 
putting in the fucking work. That's going dude. on a bender. I see. I think that's a guy just who's like boom. I'm out. It's boom. Let me fuck around with your body for a couple hours and then I'm out. Yeah, which is scary because he's hanging around. Right. He's not worried about getting caught. Yeah. It's, it, someone walks in. That's just another victim for him. Right. That's more blood he can drink. Okay. Here we go. Um. Th- there's another guy on here whose early adulthood section on Wikipedia is fascinating. This one is. This one's pretty good. Chase developed hypochondria as he matured. He often complained that his heart would occasionally stop beating or that someone had stolen his pulmonary artery. He would hold oranges on his head, believing vitamin C would be absorbed by his brain via diffusion. Chase also believed that his cranial bones had become separated and were moving around, so he shaved his head to be able to watch this activity. After leaving his mother's house, believing he was, believing she was attempting to poison him, Chase rented an apartment with his friends. Chase's roommates complained that he would constantly under the influence. Uh, Chase complained that he was constantly under the influence of alcohol, marijuana, and LSD. Chase would walk around the apartment nude, even in front of company. Chase's roommates demanded that he move out when he refused. The roommates moved out instead. Once alone in the apartment, Chase began to capture, kill, and disembowel various animals, which he would then devour raw sometimes mixing the raw organs with Coca-Cola in a blender and drinking the concoction. Chase believed that by ingesting creatures, he was preventing his heart from shrinking. Fucking gateway, man. This is the gateway to people. I mean, the guy's a kook. So dog tartar with Coca-Cola. That's what we're, that's what we're dealing with, huh? Super gross. <laughs> Clearly mentally unstable, like yeah. mental health issues. Yes. And I believe, because I have listened to a podcast, it was a while ago with him, featuring him, uh, and he had gone and he had he had gotten help hmm. at one point and almost got like to the point where he was functioning gonna be okay like after this whole happened no it was whole thing before, before like before. things that led up and like it just kept failing and like all his little ticks like you know thinking that his heart was stopping all that stuff was kind of brushed off i think and uh it did not pay off he, you know he went he went and to then town. wasn't he uh like when they when he was caught and convicted i think they they institutionalized him. They didn't put him on death row or anything like that. I, th- yeah, I yeah, believe he, so. But it says Chase he spent died, a brief right? time in psychiatric ward in 1973. In, 19, in 1973, in 1976, he was involuntarily committed to a mental institution. When he was taken to a hospital after injecting rabbit's blood into his veins, the staff nicknamed, nicknamed him Dracula because of his blood fixation. He broke the necks of two birds he caught through the institution's window and drank their blood. He also extracted blood from therapy dogs with stolen so, syringes. I think maybe that's what I, I remember is that he was, when he was in psychiatric care, they called him. Therapy. I think, yeah. And I think they almost, I think they were, he was talking to them and stuff. So it was after he got caught. I just got it backwards, but that makes sense. And it's like, this guy was, he was so far gone. He was, oh, he yeah. Was do, yeah. There was, there was no, yeah, there was no, this guy like, didn't get any saving. No, like, no. <laughs> Jesus couldn't have saved this soul. Oh, yeah. God, born. God broken. has a plan. Yeah, I mean, this was part of it. It's Richard Chase uh, was here drinking to... blood of people and yeah. small birds. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put fives for gruesome myths in stealth. I mean, um, and style points. What are we putting for stealth? I see like a one. Yeah, he's not stealthy. Yeah. Not like, stealthy, yeah. dude. He rolled up to your door, was jiggle jiggle, and walked away. <laughs> yeah, you walked know? in. Oh, no, like the fawns, dude. Like, come on, get out of here. But how fucking scary is it that if your door's open, he's here gonna, here comes this guy. He's gonna kill you. He's He's that's fucked. And to think the only thing that's separating him is a lock. Yeah. Like, he didn't <laughs> go to the back. A lock. Not even a good lock. No, he didn't go to the back door or the side doors. Yeah, he yeah went, it was just like, just make sure your door's locked. That's it. That sounds like a guy that's strung out and is going, eh, and then go in the next house. Eh, and then the one that opens, he's just. He's in. Like, yeah. Here we go. Right. Game on. That, that's terrifying to me. Yeah. But it's still, it's still worthy, I think, of a one-ish. Yeah. Doesn't seem very stealthy. I put some no. in the front runner at 16. I mean, he's a hardcore. Yeah. He's Higher player. than John Wayne Gacy. Yeah, by one. By one. Yeah, it's math. See, this is why we have mm-hmm. these sessions. Yeah. To figure out the questions Scientific that sessions. need to be sessions. answered. Right. Everybody was wondering these questions. <sighs> okay. Expert opinions. Um, <laughs> <laughs> let's do, uh, oh man, we'll probably, I, yeah, let's do Samuel Little. Okay, I know nothing about this one. This one was a hard one to leave off because he has reputation. He, sure. he has the largest number of cases for any serial killer in the United States. However, 
his story is not that gruesome or anything like that, I guess, in comparison. Um, I guess I'll, I'll try and read read through this. There's some interesting things, I guess. So he, he confessed to murdering 93 people, mostly women. Um, the FBI confirmed Little's involvement in at least 60 of the 93 confessed murders, the largest number of cases in any serial killer in U.S. history. I already said that. In 1961, Little was sentenced to three years in prison for breaking into a furniture store in Lorraine, he was released in 1964. By 1975, he had been arrested 26 times in 11 states for crimes including theft, assault, attempted rape, fraud, and attacks on government officials. Um, this was really weird. So, okay. In 1982, Little was arrested in Pasquale. Why do all these people live in the fucking dumbest names? Dude, I can't pronounce Pascaquala, yeah. Mississippi, and charged with the murder of a 22-year-old uh, Melinda Rose Lapierre, who had gone missing in September of that year. A grand jury declined to indict him for her murder. However, while under investigation, Little was extradited to Florida and tried for a murder of a 26-year-old Patricia Ann Mount, whose body was found in September 1982. Prosecution witnesses identified Little in court as a person who spent time with Mount on the night before her disappearance. Due to mistrust of witness testimonies, Little was acquitted in 1984. This motherfucker got off twice. Yeah. He got off twice. It almost seems like our fault. It doesn't make you know, any like, fucking sense. This guy's been in, got arrested 26 times. Where's the luck column? Honestly, Fuck. though. Like, I mean... And then, um, yeah, here's, here's some other stuff. So, Samuel Little moved to California... Thanks. Where he, yeah, <laughs> again, these motherfuckers love the ocean. Yeah. I mean, Mississippi is another ocean, you know. Jesus, where he stayed in the vicinity of San Diego. In October 1984, he was arrested for kidnapping, beating, and strangling a 22 year old, Laurie Barros, who survived. One month later, he was found by police in the backseat of his car with an unconscious woman, also beaten and strangled in the same location as the attempted murder of Barros. Little served. Two and a half years in prison for both crimes. Upon his release in February 1987, he immediately moved to Los Angeles and committed at least 10 additional murders. A, it, like, so this guy strangles a woman, survives, and then gets found in the backseat of his car with an unconscious woman and does two years. So he got off three times, let's be fair. I mean, like, like four? Yeah, like, what? Why? I mean, the, what? Little was tried for the murders of. Elford Nelson, Apocadaka, uh, whatever. In 2014, the prosecution, I, I, I could, it's like Apocadaka, Apocadaka, Apocadasha. I don't want to sound offensive. I just don't know how to fucking pronounce it. <laughs> Too late. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> prosecution presented the the DNA evidence as well as the testimony of witnesses who were attacked and accused at different times in, throughout his criminal career. September 25th, 2014, Little was found guilty and sentenced to life imprisonment without possibility of parole. On the day of his verdict, Little continued to insist his innocence, and then he started to confess in 2018. He actually just died in 2020 in prison. So the reason why I feel like this guy is even on here is because he's got that number attached to him of 93 confessed and involvement in at least 60. However, there's not a lot of information yeah, on not. what... That's really the only reason why he's on here. Mm-hmm. Um, but we can we can go through our math here and figure out where he where he lands here. So he seems like a populist serial killer. Like I mean, there's and again, I think a lot of this stuff we have to go by whatever the you know the popular sources, Wikipedia, whatever. I mean, this you got to go with what you got. No. He there's really I'm going to be honest. There's nothing that's ever excited me in terms of scariness, boogeyman factor, you know, any of that stuff like about this guy. And I've known about him for a while, but I don't. He just seems like, like you said, it's just body count, which and it's it's like can't be. Co- it's like unconfirmed too. Right. It's, it's almost like, yeah, he confessed to ninety three, but they only found sixty involvement. But then, as I, I mean, I I didn't read his entire Wikipedia page or do that much deep diving. But it's like there wasn't this long list of like, oh yeah, these are all the confirmed ones. It seems like it was just like we think it was him at this time and place where these people died in this succession when he was there. Like it was probably him. We can't confirm. Right. Um, I don't know. Th- this one will probably be a low score all around, but I don't know what his body count is. I mean, maybe like a two or a three. Uh, so just do like a three. 
I mean, he was, was he, he's pegged at unconfirmed how many? 95? 93. This, the unconfirmed part is just like not impressive because like, right. I, take, I he could be taking credit for so many other mm-hmm. things. He also seems kind of like an attention, attention. Just somebody who likes attention. Yeah. The like, part that I can't get my head around is he was arrested 26 times. Yeah. And did they let him go because they really like, what if this guy's full of shit? I'm not, again, no offense to the families and stuff, the people totally, that, yeah. that he did hurt mm-hmm. if he did, but like, what if he's just one of those guys? Like, yeah, you figure this was the seventies. Yeah, it's like, like, they can't find one late, thing. The late sixties. He started, he started this. It's like, I mean, the police work, like the, the DNA evidence, that whole, the criminal justice investigation part of this, like it's impossible. It's possible. They didn't have the technology back then to really like yeah. track this guy down. It was just kind of word of mouth and right. where he was at the time when he said he was, um, what's the next one? Uh, well, are we for like three for body count? What do you think, Jordan? Two or three? I'm in. I'm more of a two. You're more of a two. Okay, yeah. we'll go two. I'm cool with that. Uh, next one is stealth. Do we, don't confuse stealth with luck. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> d- it, this is almost impossible to answer. I don't know his mo. Like, I don't. There's. It's like, is he so stealthy that he like got in prison twenty or jail twenty six times and he still somehow did it or? The fact that he got arrested so many times. How do you kill ninety five like, people and they can't corroborate one killing? Yeah, like that. That to me is where I'm. I'm yeah. That, so that, it's either really it high like or five, really yeah. low. Yeah. I mean, do they know? Do they have? They have a confirmed kill. Although this guy was found in the back seat of his car with an unconscious woman. That doesn't seem like you're really. Maybe he was tired. Being dude. stealthy. Yeah, tired. Of, <laughs> it's a lot of work. No, I, I just don't like him. I mean, <laughs> I don't like him as a as a dark pop culture. <clears throat> Thing. Yeah, there's nothing interesting. Like, yeah, you know. I get why he's on the list, and I think he you need to balance and even out. Like, you can't exclude guys like him. Yeah, you know, or mm-hmm. killers like him. So, I don't know. For what? What is? What are we on? Stealth. Stealth. I'm thinking we can honestly just knock him out with a like a, a whole row of twos. Yeah, I mean, I don't even you know for I give him like a one on stealth because I don't have anything. Yeah. That's my that's opinion. Yeah. But I mean, I get a two if you, if you feel like, no, I'm good with one. We'll give him a one. Okay. Yeah. There was nothing. Not, and trust me, I mean, th- this guy, besides this other guy that we have on here is the most copy and pasted on there. And there's still not this much information. Yeah. Like I read, I read a bunch on this guy because I was like, why have I, ne- why have I never, I was like, now I know why I've never heard of him because like, he didn't do anything. <laughs> he, he claimed he killed 93 and yeah, these guys are all sociopaths and like liars and fucking whack jobs, you know, like take them as their word. But like, there wasn't even like a confirmed like 20. It was like, he was involved in 60 and right, like, right. you know, he maybe killed like confirm maybe like five or six. Um, What's the next one? Gruesomeness. No fucking. What do you do? A, yeah. a one. Yeah, I mean, yeah, exactly. Uh, seriously, a like, one. I mean, point five. Like, short of giving him a no, zero, one. We'll it's like one. we'll go one. You know, you got to give him. A, I guess give him a credit for uh, maybe making getting away with it for that long. I guess he's making it seem like he did it. Like yeah, or something. Yeah. You know? he's hard. He's a hard one because not that we want to glorify you know serial killers, right. but but we the, do. But, so but the whole this whole conversation is about you know, ranking them. Yeah, that, that's right. what we're doing. So you have to, in the confines of that, like the guy sucks. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, he's not, again, everything we say is all in the context. Yeah. He's just, not, of serial killerness. So yeah. he sucks. Yeah. He sucks. Style points also sucked. One, one, a one. Yeah. You had a dick, Samuel little. Yeah. Yeah. This guy got a five. All right. Let's do Let's with a popular one. A popular one. Should yeah. we do uh Jeff? Uh, Je- Jeff Dahmer. Sure. Old Jeffrey. Old Jeffy. We all know Jeffrey Dahmer, serial killer and sex offender, murder and dismemberment of 17 men and boys. Many later murders involve necrophilia and cannibalism uh, and a permanent preservation of body parts, typically all or part of the skeleton, beaten to death by fellow inmate Christopher Scarver. I didn't know that. Now you do. Wow. That he was killed in prison. That he was killed in prison. That fact I did know, but um, I didn't know that uh, he was what, beaten to death. I knew he was killed in prison, but yeah, they, they beat, beat beaten oh. to death. I guess they didn't like. It's his just nice crimes. to know that yeah. people in prison have standards, which right? is you know, it's I've just it's just comforting that. to know. Like if I get in there, it's like, hey, I'm not killing kids. Like they're not going to kill me. There's got to be a child killer in there somewhere. That yeah, they're so going there's after, someone below you, right? Yeah. I'll probably go there for like white collar crime. I'll just get butt fucked. <laughs> well, I mean, and that's you know, it's, uh, you unless it's with that 18 inch monster. <laughs> it depends on the context, yeah. man. You know, then you're I like, can only take so much. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> hold on. Hold on. What if? <laughs> 
<laughs> what if you knew you were going to prison and you were like, babe, I'm going to prison. Loosen it up. I got to get ready for this because. <laughs> Hear I'm me like, out. I'm, I'm not trying to self-centered. I'm probably yeah. the most handsome guy going into fucking prison at this point. So <laughs> I need you just to slowly well, you increase know what? It, in, look, symmetri- listen, in, in circumference listen, in dildos. It's not going to be slow in prison. So you might as well just get going. Are you basically talking about uh, prepping? Yeah. yeah. I mean, that's a, like, I get it, you know, because if I knew, oh, I don't know, if I knew I was going to prison, like, it'd be, it'd be, that would be not that low on my totem pole no. of things I would need to contemplate. Like, so you take, you, you, you take a shot in the ass just to like prep. You got to know what you're going up against. Yeah. Final answer, yes. I think I would. I think yeah. I think I would just I gotta know what I'm getting into. I'm I, not old enough to have a prostate exam. Yeah. So I don't know. I think a hole's a hole in prison. I think yeah. you're you're you know, it's the most dangerous game. Fuck. All right, Jeffrey Dahmer. <laughs> Glad we had that conversation. <laughs> now you're ready. He looks like a winner. Jeffrey Dahmer was like six foot, dude. Dude, he scares me because he's highly intelligent. Do you think this guy could play pickup? Like <laughs> small forward? <laughs> Yeah, he's a center at Calfit. That's true. <laughs> Jesus. God. Okay. Um, we already read that off. I mean, is there anything... Do you know anything off the top of your head about this guy other than he killed young boys you and just said he was highly intelligent. Them? I didn't know that. Highly intelligent, and he put he put bodies in vats of acid, I Ooh. believe, in his fucking home. Ahead of his time. Alive or dead bodies? Dead bodies. Okay. But that's how he disposed of them, I believe, if I remember correctly. And he, um, he would... He would kill people with a fucking hammer. Oh, wow. Like, he would, he would tie That's them like up, too. just bludgeon them to death. Jesus. Yeah. I, I, I think it was something like that. But he's uh, he scares me because, you know, he was going after a lot of um, a lot of gay men at the time and just murdering them. Like, because he's not an ugly, like, he doesn't, if you were to, like, you know, remove the serial killer aspect, like, he's a, he looks rather yeah. normal. He's yeah. not an ugly guy. Mm-hmm. Uh, so I could see... You know how there's an attraction, but really you're going to the house of horrors. From an early age, Dahmer manifested an interest in dead animals. His fascination with dead animals may have begun when, at the age of four, he saw his father removing animal bones from beneath the family home. According to Lionel, Dahmer was oddly thrilled by the sound of the the sound the bones made and became preoccupied with animal bones, which he initially called his fiddlesticks. He occasionally searched beneath the beneath and around the family home. For additional bones and explored bodies of live animals to discover where their bones were located. I'm assuming he would kill the animals because we all know that that's it. Two years later, during a chicken dinner. Red flag. <laughs> two years later, during a chicken dinner, Dahmer asked Lionel what would happen if the chicken bones were placed in bleach. Lionel, pleased by what he believed to be his son's scientific curiosity, demonstrated how safe. <laughs> How to safely bleach and preserve animal bones. Dahmer incorporated these preserving techniques into his bone collecting. I like that's a nice term, bone collecting. <laughs> and also began collecting dead animals, including roadkill, which he would dissect and bury beside the hut with the skulls occasionally placed atop makeshift crosses. According to one friend, Dahmer explained to him that he was curious as to how animals fitted together. In one instance in 1975, Dahmer decapitated the carcass of a dog before nailing the body to a tree and impaling the skull on a stake beside a wooden cross in the woodland behind his house. As a prank, he later invited a friend to view the display, claiming that he had discovered the remains by chance. (sighs) Okay. Now he's playing mind games with some yeah. kid. Yeah, I mean, these are class. It's like the classic symptoms of yeah. like... A, yeah, right? Of just dudes that are fucked up. Yeah, and then there's this whole thing. Adolescence in high school, there's a whole fucking paragraph on that. Murder of Stephen Hicks. Dahmer committed his first murder in 1978, three weeks after his graduation. At the same time, he was living alone in the family home. On June 18th, Dahmer picked up a hitchhiker named Stephen Mark Hicks, who was almost 19. Dahmer lured the youth into his house on the pretext of drinking. Hicks, who had been hitchhiking to the Rocks concert in Chippewa Chippewa Lake Park in Ohio, agreed to accompany Dahmer to his house upon the promise of a few beers with Dahmer as he had the house himself. According to Dahmer, the sight of the bare-chested Hicks standing on the roadside stirred his sexual feelings, although when Hicks 
began talking about girls, he knew any sexual passes he made would be rebuffed. Is it rebuffed or rebuffed? Sorry, rebuffed. After several hours of talking, drinking, and listening to music, Hicks wanted him to leave, and I didn't want him to. Dahmer bludgeoned Hicks with a 10-pound dumbbell. He later stated he struck Hicks twice from behind with a dumbbell as Hicks sat upon a chair. When Hicks fell unconscious, Dahmer strangled him to death with a bar of the dumbbell, then stripped him of his clothes um, from Hicks' body before exploring his chest with his hands, then masturbating as he stood above the corpse. The following day, Dahmer dissected Hicks's body in the basement. He later buried the remains in a shallow grave in his backyard before several weeks before several weeks later, unearthing the remains, the pairing flesh and bones, he dissolved the flesh in acid before flushing the solution down the toilet. He crushed the bones with a sledgehammer and scattered them in the woodland behind the family home. I mean, this is just one. Yeah, I mean Dahmer's <clears throat> just like classic everybody knows about jeffrey serial dahmer. killer yeah. cannibal is like 101 is jeffrey dahmer he right? might have been like the first boogeyman for me like real boogeyman because mm. when was he apprehended was it like in the 90s he was born in 60 he died in 1994 span of crimes was 78 to 91 okay so i mean i i, I remember Sorry, date apprehended 91 okay Sorry. Yeah, i remember like he was on the news. I, I remember that as a kid. And that was like my, I think that was like my first boogeyman, Jeffrey Dahmer. Like wow. that, like somebody could abduct you and eat you was terrifying. Yeah. I would it's, imagine so. This is a whole nother maybe tangent, but it's crazy how this um, idea and probably all of our heads that like, Oh, our kids are going to get kidnapped and blah, blah, blah. Like how that just doesn't happen anymore. Like the, you know, Basically, up until the 90s, like mid-90s, it just didn't happen anymore until the 2000s. Like, it just stopped happening. All these dudes yeah. are all from like... 70s. 60s yeah. to the 90s. So, like the yeah. early 90s, right? It just didn't happen anymore. Yeah. And how, but that's still like in our brains as like, don't walk alone. Like, the stranger could get you. It's like, kids have cell phones. Everybody's got a cell phone now. The odds yeah. of a kid actually being abducted off the street or like being lured are like so unlikely. But this shit fucking happened. Like, yeah, it was. It's crazy to read this stuff, but like, I mean, I still just in general don't. You know, I mean, there's this like an innate sort of distrust. Oh, oh, but for sure, for but, sure, for sure. But I, you're right. Like, it's definitely calmed down, and I think a lot of it has to do with the advent of technology, for sure. Mm -hmm. But imagine, imagine being a parent in like the '70s. Mm -hmm. You know, like, and and you had all of these crazy killers. Like, you had a, a time where you were not feeling safe about no. playing outside with your, you know, having your kid play out the other kids, you know, alone. Not at all. Or walking alone for that matter. Does it say how they caught him? Somebody escaped his house. Is that what it was? Yeah. And I think ran to, uh, to get help. I was say, if this guy's able to dispose of the entire body without anybody ever finding a trace of it. Yeah. Stealth is like a 10. Yeah, I think <laughs> I think he's got a high stealth, and I think he's got a pretty um, pretty high um, style. Yeah, I would agree with that for sure. I mean, his body count. There's a whole sorry. There's a whole thing about his arrest and capture, and it seems interesting, but I don't want to read the whole thing because it's fine. like multiple paragraphs. Yeah. But um, yeah, just, just bookmark it for later. Okay. So, what was his victim count though? Uh, seventeen. Dude, that's, that's a, fucking no that's joke. A, that's yeah. a lot, man. <laughs> I mean, especially after you graduate high school, you're killing somebody when you're 18. Mm -hmm. Like right after you get out of high school, and, right after graduation, you're killing another 19 year old. Think about how long he was doing it for, too. Yeah, that's. I mean, that's an impressive feat. Methodic. That, that's a nice resume. And that's. I think it's part of this, his overall intelligence of just like knowing. You know, this guy was using science. Right? Yeah. You know, I mean, he was very curious, and uh, I think he planned. He planned on you know not being caught. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I give him. I give him five. Five for body I, count. Yeah, I agree. I kind of think that's impressive. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah. Especially again, this. Yeah, yeah there's nuance to the body count. Not ranking, just because he's. It's like JD. You know. Yeah, the, uh, Jeff. Yeah. There was. Um, yeah, the the disposing. Like, it, it seemed like he really. He, he wasn't careless in that sense. Although on this thing that says, on this beginning part, which again we're not going to read the whole thing. It says he. He approached, it says, arrest and capture on July 22nd, which was the day he got arrested, 1991. Dahmer approached three men 
with an offer of $100 to accompany him to his apartment to pose for nude photographs, drink beer, and simply keep him company. So maybe that was his careless thing, was like, oh, I'm going to do three this time. Yeah. And then it was like, you know, again, I'm not going to read it, but maybe that's what happened. It's like you said one dude escaped and... Yeah, you know. I don't remember. I just know somebody escaped, yeah. but... That seems like the only way that this dude would have been caught. Right. I yeah. mean... Somebody overpowered him someone, or something. Yeah, t- too, too much to handle. Something went wrong, tried to kill someone. It didn't work, and someone else ran out. Yeah. So what's the next one? Stealth. I mean, it's hard. I mean, hard to not give him four or five. At least a four, I'm thinking. Yeah. Are you thinking stealth in terms of like the trickery and then also just the bodies and the acid and shit? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I, I'm I'm very happy with a four. I mean, I think a four is fine. I think I think a four is great okay. because. Yeah. I could be coaxed, but four is good. Yeah. I'll tell you what, he's already higher than Little. Well, <laughs> um, Little's right where he needs to be. <laughs> gruesomeness. I mean, he's dis- he's experimenting on people. Yeah. That's a yeah. Good, I mean, well, did he did he have sex with them with the bodies? Or did he? Because I, I, I assumed he did. I thought we thought he did. I thought he did too. Yeah, well, he's accused of necrophilia. So yeah. yeah. So okay. okay. I mean, you know, he's. I mean, he also he's using like blunt one. objects. He's not, this is not a clean process. He's no. not using guns. He's not, he's like, he's using objects like knives and there's a, like obviously blunt a force trauma. I mean, yeah, this guy is like clearly, is he in five territory? Is that what I'm hearing? Cause I could, I mean, I could definitely. And, and also the, go for that. I'm sorry. This might play into the next one. Just the come back to my place, drink a beer, or whatever, and he's have he's getting he's getting his rocks off by just like having a beer and mm-hmm. getting the sexual energy with this other guy. Like I'm sure he's getting his shit off trying to turn him gay. Like I'm gonna make you want to fuck me, yeah, and then you're not gonna want to, and then I'm gonna throw a fucking dumbbell at your head, and then I'm gonna masturbate on top of you. Like that shit's wacky, wacky. Yeah. like <laughs> so fucked That's up. That's a slippery like, slope if I ever heard one. <laughs> <laughs> um, red flags. <laughs> I mean, he's. I, I'm. I'm like. I'm comfortable with a five on. I, I, am, I am too. Five it up. Yeah. Give him five. Now style. How do you argue that he doesn't deserve a four or more? I don't think you can. You can't. No. It's at least a four. At yeah. least, right? I think. Yeah, the style. It's like does the does the dissolving of the bodies, like. Dude, the dogs like I know. He wanted, I know, he wanted to know. see how shit fit together. Yeah, like that's terrifying and gross. Um, I and it also like, said he would preserve full skeletons. Yeah. <sighs> either a four, either a four or five. I'm I'm cool with either one. I mean, it, just because you know, because you're we're, like you're talking. If you compare Chase to him, they're they're both disturbing and they're oh, yeah. both really gruesome. But they can be equally gruesome and different. And different. Yeah, right. I was gonna say he. Yeah, yeah. Dude, Richard Chase was like doing kind of nipples off and drinking blood. I mean, I guess Jeffrey Dahmer was technically doing the same thing. He was eating them. But. Yeah. I mean, cannibalism. They were both into cannibalism, but I think mm-hmm. Jeffrey Dahmer was actually like these are full course meals, whereas you know Chase is like snacking. He, yeah, and That's he, true. He, he. I think <laughs> this sounds weirder, but it feels like Richard Chase was way more mentally unstable. Yeah. Oh yeah. Then Jeffrey Dahmer. Jeffrey Dahmer was able to keep this up for years. Like loose and cannibal. Yeah. Yeah. Um, give him a five. Yeah. Let's give this okay. guy. Let's All give right. him a yeah. five, dude. I mean, he is. He's in the he's hall of fame. I mean, it, that's he's, it. He's. he's then he's there's out. a reason why when you start reading this, you get it. He, yeah. It, he takes number one now at nineteen. Who Who's number two right now? Chase is sixteen. So he, he he was one. Man, John Wayne Gacy. Yeah. He's he's was he third? Yeah, he's third. I, you know, I've, that feels right to me. Yeah. Um, I feel like Dahmer has always been... He's one point away from a perfect score. <laughs> he's, but dude, he's... It's Jeffrey Dahmer! <laughs> like, like, if, if you're in a room and you're like, oh, I'm hungry like Dahmer, like, who's not going to get the joke? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, somebody will get it. Because the guy is notorious. He's yeah. got the notoriety. He's infamous, yeah. Also, um, one, you know, one, one of the few guys that didn't have, like, a nickname. It was just, Je- it was a first, first, last name guy. He didn't fucking need it. Which was is it- scary. Yeah, yeah, right? Like, his name was Jeffrey Dahmer. He wasn't the clown killer. No, you're he right. He wasn't the butcher baker. It was like, that's Jeffrey fucking Dahmer. And that is what, that's, that's terrifying. Scary. Yeah, um, okay. Okay, let's do, 
Okay, we got some heavy hitters coming up. Let's go to another guy who I was really surprised and loved. This this guy was maybe my sleeper. This might be like my right, late pick. Okay. Um, Gary Ridgeway. Green River? Green River Killer. Yeah. I was fascinated by yeah. this dude. This guy's off the hook. This guy was so great. Like, yeah, it, this guy was just like classic, like just dirt bag. Like yeah. just dirt bag. Like not... <laughs> I mean, he... First of all, let's talk about his name for a second. Yeah, Gary. Yeah. The Green, the Green River, River Killer. Like, what a fucking barrel bottom feeding fucking yeah. turd of a name. He had, the police department opened a Green River like detective thing just to find out this dude's murders. Like they had a whole other like sanction, like a sign, like you're you're on the Green yeah. River thing. Um, so I have a bunch of stuff. In my Ooh, notes you got here, a lot here for this I know. I'll, tr- I'll try and I'll try and. Okay, can you read it? Maybe. <laughs> Gary Ridgway, also known as the Green River Killer, is an American serial killer. He was initially convicted of forty-eight separate murders as part of his plea bargain to avoid the death penalty. He convict. Okay, so I didn't put this in there, but later, basically, he convicted. He was he confessed to forty-eight or whatever, and they were like, "If you tell us where these other bodies are and where this last one you did was, we won't do the death penalty. So that's why it's 49, and he also located the other bodies of his other Which ones. Which is what they told Ted Bundy they would do, and he was like, fuck that. <laughs> yeah, so I'm going to represent myself. As part of this plea bargain, to avoid the death penalty, another convict, another conviction was added, bringing the total number of convictions to 48, making him the second most prolific serial killer in United States history, according to confirmed murders. He killed many teenage girls and women in the state of Washington during the 1980s and 1990s. Most of Ridgway's victims were alleged were alleged to be sex workers and other women in vulnerable circumstances, including underage runaways. The press gave him the nickname after the first five victims were found in the Green River before his identity was known. He strangled his victims, usually by the hand, or sorry, usually by hand, sometimes using, I don't know what this is, a ligature? A ligature? Isn't that in the thing in a piano, like piano wire? I don't, maybe. Using a ligature after strangling them. He would dump their bodies in a forested and overgrown areas in King County after returning to the bodies to have sexual intercourse with them. Personal life. This is juicy. Oh, let's go. <laughs> this is my favorite part. Ridgway is dyslexic and was held back a year in high school. When he was 16, he stabbed a 16-year-old boy who survived the attack. Ridgway had led the boy into the woods and stabbed him through the ribs in his liver. Ridgway's IQ was recorded to be in the low 80s. Not very high. Mm-mm. Ridgway had a bedwetting problem until he was 13 and his mother would wash his genitals after every episode he would later tell defense psychologists that as an adolescent he had conflicting feelings of anger and sexual attraction attraction toward his mother and fantasized about killing her Gary Ridgway was born on February 18, 1949 Salt Lake City, Utah the second to Mary, Tom, the Mary and Thomas Ridgway's three sons sorry, you're going to say something? one day before my birthday <laughs> that is holla um Oh, he also complained about, oh, his father was a bus driver who would often complain about the presence of sex workers. Ridgway graduated from Thai, Thai High School in 1969 and married his 19-year-old high school girlfriend, Claudia Craig. He joined the United States Navy and he was sent to Vietnam where he served as a board, board served on a board supply ship and saw com- supply ship and saw combat. During his time in the military, Ridgway had frequent sex had frequent sexual intercourse with sex workers and contracted gonorrhea. Although angered by this, he continued this activity without protection. The marriage ended a year later. Ooh. According to women in his life, Ridgway had an <laughs> insatiable sexual appetite. His three ex-wives had and several ex-girlfriends reported that he demanded sex from them several times a day. Often he would want to have sex in a public area or in the woods. Ridgway Ridgway himself admitted to have a fixation on sex workers with whom he had a love-hate relationship. He frequently complained about their presence in the neighborhood. He also took advantage of their services regularly. Some have speculated that Ridgway was torn between his lusts and his staunch and religious beliefs. So, guy was a bedwetter and wanted to fuck his mom. Yeah, I mean, this is... This is... This seems like another one of those classic... I've never heard of this guy. Yeah, I mean, never heard of this he's, guy. he's well, he's really well known. Uh, I didn't know some of his like, you know, personal problems or historical, some of the historical data behind him, but it seems pretty, you know, classic red flags, right? Cookie cutter. Yeah. yeah. Like in a way he becomes less, um, you know, less of a spectacle, but what's crazy 
and this and one of the scary things is that body count is real high. Yeah. Like and then also just the the malaise of just like dumping people in a river. Like I'm done. Like it you seems know. so like lazy. Yeah. He, he would take but he would also he would confuse the police and he would drive them across straight border. He would drive them across the border in Oregon and dump them in Oregon too. Um, oh. I got another little stanza here. Um, throughout the 1980s and 1990s, Ridgeway is believed to have murdered at least 71 teenage girls Good near Lord. Seattle and Tacoma, Washington. In court statements, Ridgeway later reported that he had killed so many he had lost count. A majority, majority of the murders occurred between 1982 and 1984. The victims were believed to have, to be either a, be sex workers or runaways for whom he picked up along Pacific Highway South, whatever. Ridgeway sometimes showed the women a picture of his son to trick them into trusting them, trusting him. They would engage in sexual activity. And after minutes of intercourse from behind Ridgeway would wrap his forearm around the front of their necks and use the other arm to pull back as tightly as he could strangling them. He killed most of his victims in his home or in a secluded area. Most of their bodies were dumped in the wooded areas around the green river, Seattle, Tacoma area. And then, of course, you would return to the dump sites to have sex with them, which turned out to be true. If police found a fresh grave, they would stake it out and wait for him to come back. Oh, wow. I mean, you can't deny the, the body count. It's you very high. You can't deny the fucking strangling them, like, as he's having sex with them. Like, what the fuck is that, dude? Yeah, like, I mean, he's like, a, he's, like a, uh, he's an abductor. I, I mean, this guy seems like he's driving around in a van... Like he he literally is like oh the scary white van over there that's him right I mean maybe yeah, yeah. yeah maybe he's the epitome of that like he grabs you you know you know sexually assaults you and then strangles you and throws you in a river which is all very scary yeah but he doesn't have the the style I agree you know I was thinking the same thing there, but, there, there's not a whole lot of flash to that it's no. you're you're paying prostitutes to get in your car you're not really luring anybody <clears throat> and have you noticed though the the pattern that starts to emerge and i've never done this like what we're doing is kind of cool when you look at <clears throat> psychological state versus gruesomeness right you would think there's a pattern like i would think that anybody who's like psychologically unhinged like a chase like richard chase who took you know LSD and, and took drugs and also just had a probably a mental like breakdown mm-hmm. that just spiraled or he had actually was maybe schizophrenic or had some sort of yeah. psychiatric issue versus like a Jeffrey Dahmer who's completely fucking lucid and they're doing similar things. Yeah. Right. And then you, you get to chase and you're like low IQ. Right. Yeah. How in the fuck is this guy even getting through life with an 80 IQ and it, not only that, but why in the shit is he serving the country with an IQ of 80? Yeah. But again, I, yeah. I think times are different uh-huh. and you would just expect to see a pattern here. But the scariest part of this is I don't see one. Yeah. 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 You're right. It's I mean, other, sporadic. other than like, yeah. like anybody bad could home lives, I guess, but it's the seventies. They're all bad. I don't know. <laughs> I wasn't there, but it seems right. like growing up in the seventies maybe wasn't awesome. No, the bad. Like, you're right. The bad home life's like totally makes sense. But then it's like there's a lot of people who have bad home lives that don't. Yeah, that oh, don't uh, kill oh, ninety uh, people. hundred yeah. percent. But yeah. even like in Jeffrey Dahmer's, it was like the only thing that they mentioned about his home life was that his dad thought he was taking an interest in science and the decomposition of bones, like, right? Which is an, is indicative of his intelligent nature of getting the information he wanted, pretending to be, you know, interested in one thing but really wanting something darker yeah. out of it. But wanting to wanting to to nail your mom is certainly a psychological fucking problem. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, and those types of things you like, you would think, okay, that I could totally, I could totally make a chart and be like, all right, they have these attributes, like, but it tells me that anybody can be a serial killer. Uh, yeah. It's and true. That, is, that to me is, I think why they're scary. It, when someone says, Oh, it could be your neighbor next door. It's like, yeah, it really like could. It actually could. It yeah. could. Yeah. yeah. It could holds a job, has a family. I mean, BTK. Which probably isn't on the list. It was. We took him off. Okay, he's he's scary because he embodied. All, he, that guy was normal as shit, and out at night yeah. just killing people. 
scary. Yeah, it's like it's not it's not inconceivable mm. that this guy would move away from his family, divorce his wife, and just work this job. Because there's a part where he talks about him getting arrested. Like he was just like a factory worker in like a warehouse, and he just like got arrested because of he got like arrested on suspicion. Right, that's how it always is. Or yeah. most of the time, it's like you're suspected to murder these people, and then they end up convicting him or whatever. But it's like. I don't know if this, it's just, he just lived like a normal, quote unquote, normal, right? Yeah. Went to work, paid taxes. Like, mm -hmm. he just liked paying prostitutes and killing them. Like, <laughs> it's like, it's crazy that these people exist and they're around us all the time. Yeah. Like, like, that's what scares me the most. Like, he's actually, like, he's scarier. T and here's what's weird. Like, because we we have a, a criteria, right? Mm -hmm. He's far scarier to me than John Wayne Gacy. Why? Yeah. Because he's he's the he's normalcy. Normal. Yeah, yeah. But John Wayne Gacy is like dressing up as a clown as an adult. Like that's already weird. Yeah, like <laughs> I don't want to know I'm a guy who's profession away from that guy. is being exactly. a clown. Like if you had to walk by both of them, or you're running for your life, right? And you turn down an alley, and John Wayne Gacy's there in the clown uniform, and then factory worker Ridgeway's sitting there doing this. Yeah, you're and, like, and you're, you're a gonna, young girl. You're gonna yeah. go to Ridgeway. Yeah. And you're actually not safer with Ridgeway because I think technically Gacy was going after young men. Mm hmm. So you went right into the hand of the devil. Yeah. And that's, that's just scary. Like, yeah. I know it just, it I know is. everybody knows all this, but it's, it's just frightening to yeah. look at. Yeah. All right. Let's hit the math. Body count. Where are we going? It's gotta be a five. He, it's, it, it's gotta the be fact five. that it's like, amount. Hey, it's 48. Actually it's 49. And I'll tell you where these other ones are because he already got me corroborated. Yes. I mean, we know so five to avoid. Yeah. yeah. To avoid the death five. penalty, which is also fascinating yeah. because You'd think these guys would just be like, I don't give a fuck if I die. Like, <laughs> that's that's always the weird thing is like, but, yeah. these or, guys or, clearly value life to some degree. They just don't, they don't, it's like they value theirs. They don't value other people's. It's like to avoid the death penalty, avoid the death penalty, dude, you've killed like 50 people. Yeah, but now, yeah, it's like, but I think the other part of it is they want the notoriety of yep. having a higher number. Like they want to like see have their I, name attached to these I kills. don't I honestly I don't I don't think it I don't think they're thinking about a number I don't I don't think this guy was thinking like oh I got to 25 like Gacy was at 30 or whatever like I got to get to that I don't I, I don't think it's like that not, I think I it's think I don't they're comparing each other but they're I think they're thinking they want to be more famous see I don't I don't think so you don't think I honestly I don't honest, think, I don't a, think they're I, for some reason it doesn't like when we get to him the Zodiac Killer, different. I think yeah, he, he wanted the notoriety, yeah, right? For sure. He clearly... We'll, we'll get to that. We'll get to that. Yeah, but, no, but you're I making some, an interesting something point. Something like that. Like, I don't think Gary Ridgway was doing this to be like this... I don't... I, it's like... He's just doing it to get his rocks I, th I, I think there is some sort of rocks getting off of, like, the cops can't catch me. I'm a bad boy. Mm -hmm. But, like, I, 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 don't, I don't think ultimately what f got their fix off was, like... Oh yeah, I'm, I got another one. I think it's like just this weird compulsion just to do. It's like one more French fry. Now one more French fry is not gonna be bad. No, okay, one more French fry is not gonna be bad. It's like they're not even thinking about the other ones. It's always about the next one. It's not. Oh, I've done twenty. It's like, okay, well, I just did one. When am I gonna do my next one? Like if media and TV weren't invented, they wouldn't have changed their course. The trajectory yeah, would be I, the exact same. I, I I think that's a good way to put it. So I, just, I, I don't I don't think that notoriety is the thing that drives these people. I think it's just yeah. I think it's strictly this chemical imbalance in their brain that's just driving them to just they have to have this fix and they can never get enough it'll just it's never enough you don't think with all serial killers though that, no 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 yeah, okay, no absolutely not no. but like with you this, can rubber stamp this guy as i just like doing this i just like yeah. it. you know this is <laughs> this is my hobby yeah. yeah and that's and it's it's weird but i think you definitely give this dude a five on body count oh absolutely yeah, yeah i think so sure. too i think, I think so he too. drops a little bit when you get into um what is that second one? Stealth. Stealth, yeah. yeah. Um, because because we don't really have a reference as to how he's picking people up. I don't think there's any sort of calculation to it. I think you just find a prostitute. Yeah. And I guess, okay, I guess I'm putting myself in Gary Ridgeway's shoes. If I'm on number 20, mm -hmm. if I've even kept track of, right. I probably need to start driving to other cities because prostitutes talk to other prostitutes and they go, oh, where's Cinnamon? Yeah. I haven't seen Cinnamon in a while. Like know. she got in a van with that. Oh, I don't know. She got in a, like, even if it's just prostitutes talking about it, it's like, you want to remain as anonymous as possible. Yeah. I think there's some form of stealth in 
that is that what the product category we're on is that what you yeah. said yeah, yeah. Right? yeah but it's like he's also not he's there's no luring he's paying for this right there's no luring it's it's strictly like i have money get in my car i'm gonna yeah, have sex I, with you and then strangle it feels like you. a two for me yeah. it feels it feels like this is anything this feels like the anybody could do yeah ex- any serial killer yes you know yep like I don't think, yeah. It's like anybody has the capacity to get a prostitute. I don't think anybody has the capacity to just go and lure men into their house. No, right? <laughs> or no. Get, dress up as a clown and <laughs> yeah. handcuff boys and get them to their house. Not, not even the killing part. Yeah. Yeah. Not even the killing part. Just getting them. Just there. getting them there. Yeah. Well, and this next, the next piece is interesting because style points. Well, gruesome's next. Or yeah, gruesome and yeah, then style, gruesome, right? Yeah, yeah. So gr- gruesome to me is like, eh, he's like a one, right? Like, yeah, you know, I mean. Sure, these are horrific acts. Yeah, of course. But in this... This guy could have been a Hall of Famer if he wasn't so fucking lazy. It, if this, yeah. I mean, if yeah. he just had some fucking class, I but mean... talk <laughs> about... This is what also what's interesting. You say Hall of Famer, right? And it's true. Like, he's well known. But, like, what you were just talking about, dude, is, like, he's not swinging for the fences. This guy is just doing what he loves. Which is somehow... Well, it's so much more terrifying. The yeah. fact that he's, like, he's, like, not doing it... No motivation to, like, by eat that. him or to find out. He's just, like... I don't know. I like killing people. I just yeah. kill them, dump them in the river, done. Right. That's it. And maybe I'll come back and fuck them later. Like, that's, I mean. It is weird it's, and it's, it's scary. It's very strange. Like, all of these are really weird and they're in a different way. And this guy is just one of them where it's like, he's just a creepy dude that just wants to fuck people and kill them. Like, without any sort of, like, Jeffrey Dahmer, right? He's an intelligent guy. Like, he, yeah. you know, he's doing the vats of acid. Like, all this stuff. Like, there's clearly, like, a calculated thing. Like, I don't think this dude was calculated. I think Mm-mm. he was in a time where you could just get away with stuff like this. When you're talking King County, if, if I'm... I could be not correct here, but that's a huge it's, fucking... It's massive, yeah. yeah. Like, Tacoma Tacoma itself is, like, a... It's a huge city. Right. Huge and city you've got Washington. a lot of... You've got a lot of, like forest and trees and you're on the pacific right yep. isn't that more the yep. northwestern yeah, a lot of forest yeah so i mean it's like th- that could could that be stealthy uh, yeah. no i don't know i don't think I, i'll give a, i'll give him like a like a two like a one or a two yeah i think the only reason it'd be a one is if it was less i think the fact that he did so many yeah. maybe is a two yeah i'll go with two there yeah sold so he's at for brutality he's at a 10, or for gr- 10 total gruesomeness so okay, what 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 did we give him? Sorry, we gave him a five for body count. Okay, two for stealth, one for gruesome, two for style. So ten total. A one for gruesome, two for okay, yeah, that's fine. What's crazy about this, how you see these shake out, is you can go really big on body count, but it mm-hmm. doesn't mean much. No, yeah, you put, put you put all his focus into more. Yeah, yeah. This guy was a machine. He, <laughs> but he was boring. <laughs> he had no style. If he wasn't lazy, yeah. he's the goat. Yeah, <laughs> because he's you, you have corroborated kills. All right. Who do we got next? Um, well, we're getting down to our, our big well, hitters last here. Last three here. Last three. Uh, let's do... Should we do Zodiac? We were just talking about him. Let's do Zodiac Killer. All right. <laughs> Sam, please read. <laughs> <laughs> okay. He has five confirmed dead, two injured, possibly 20 to 28 total dead, claimed to have killed 37. Um, Dave, David Arthur Faraday, 17. Oh, those are just the uh, victims, so don't need to do that. Okay, yeah, you read it. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Um, so after the victims, there's a quote here that says, um, I like killing people because it is so much fun. It is m- more fun than killing wild game in the forest because man is the most dangerous animal of all. To kill something uh, gives me the most thrilling experience. It's even better than uh, getting your rocks off with a girl. Uh, the best part of it is that when I die, I will be reborn in paradise and all that I have killed will become my slaves. I will not give you my name because you will try to slow down or stop my uh, collecting of slaves for my afterlife. And then it has the anagram at the end. That yeah. is one of the letters sent to the San Francisco Chronicle yeah. from the Zodiac Killer. That's also have you know heavily featured in the film. Yeah. Right. And it's a chilling message very yeah to say the least but doesn't it also feel like it could go one or two ways like this is either a very unhinged ish you know individual with like psychiatric issues or like a caricature of a killer Mm. like somebody trying to be a mysterious killer like Like taking credit for one or like no like inventing 
a, a killer. Okay. You know what I mean? Like, like a Shakespearean fucking story where it's like, how many Zodiac writers were there? You know? Cause mm-hmm. you know, at one point Toski wrote letters pretending mm-hmm. that they were, that they came from the Zodiac killer. Yeah. And it's like, that's also very strange um, that he drove him to sort of bring him back to life. You know, it's, it's a very like strange case. And um, so his five confirmed dead, two injured. They were all either just shot or stabbed. Mm-hmm. It yeah. was there was you know he wasn't mutilating. He wasn't. No. It was clearly just a. No, I just want to kill people. His big game was fucking with the police. Fucking with it felt the police. Like. Yeah, yeah, just fucking with the public. Really, yeah. just creating fear. So here's where I mean, and this is interesting because maybe we weren't thinking this would go this way. I think he's on the very fucking low end on body count for me. Like, like low end. Like, I don't think he's worth more than a two at the high end. I think I would probably lean towards the same. I think the only thing that he has going, not not the only thing, but one of the things he has going for him for the body count is like, he's, he's in where, where was he at? Sorry. Like San Bernardino or San Francisco, yeah. San Francisco, San Jose, right? Duh. San Francisco, yeah. Vallejo. There's no woods there. Like, there's not where to hide. Like, all these other dudes were in Alaska, were in Washington. There's well, woods. The thing, he wasn't trying to hide the bodies. He wanted them to be found. Ex- exactly. But it's so it's that's that's it's tougher to get away with. I'm not saying it's impossible. Y- Obviously, yes, it's not. Yes. But like, yeah. it's not like oh, driving out on a country road. There's no country roads in San Francisco. Yeah. You know, it's, it doesn't yeah. work like that. Like, there, he clearly like was two steps ahead of like I'm going to I'm going to kill these people and I'm not going to get caught. You know, and I think that that's something I think the five body count is a little underwhelming for how popular he is in pop culture mm-hmm. and just the name itself the Zodiac Killer is a sick ass name, but Yeah, he's got a great name. But yeah. The the thing that bugs me about the body count <clears throat> is that that's the uh that's the perceived body count like i mean even though they they've said they've corroborated five kills he's responsible for right mm-hmm. but they don't know who he is right. so, well they think they knew but yeah the guy they think they knew is yeah because he says possibly yeah it says possibly 20 to 28 total dead claim he claims to have killed 37 the right. claims to have killed i That's, honestly i don't put really any stock into yeah. if i'm being honest like you're in samuel little territory at that point right? yeah it's, you know? it's like you could claim to have killed 100 people you know it, like what do you you know he he's not impressive in 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 the on the technical merit yes. of of killing people, but the 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 weird thing is like with five people, like I know that especially the film covers the people that he killed. Mm-hmm. However, you don't even know you really don't know at the end of the day. You don't have you can't prove that he fired the gun. You can't prove that he's just somebody who knew about them intimately and provided. He may have provided like you know pieces of clothing. Uh, brand of of ammo he knew about the murders Mm -hmm. but that doesn't mean he committed them right that's true so how can i have a hard time i I mean i I just have a hard time with it i think a body count of one i I think i think that's good i think now that we're talking through it i'd like to upset the 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 pop culture and say one also i I feel like that's fine because just going off i mean just going off of these other dudes i mean like he's kind of small potatoes a little bit when when, his name dope right yeah. Seriously, he's incredible. Oh, oh, if we're ranking names, Zodiac yeah. Killer is the best one. Atmospherically, he's terrifying. Yeah, Vampire of Sacramento is pretty cool. <laughs> that's one. That's probably my favorite. <laughs> Dracula, <laughs> come on, what? <laughs> okay, so now we're talking stealth. Yes, different story. Five. That's yeah. Yes, yes, yeah. exactly. Hundred percent of a five, right? right. Because n- it's sort of like a. <laughs> it's almost like it's, it should be like a six. It's if just, it was like it's a game to him, yeah. like nobody fucking knows. It's like not only does nobody know who he is, like. Yeah. He's contacting it's like, them. Yeah, it's yeah. Like you weren't you weren't caught at all. Like, no. Even if you kill one person and you get away with it, I mean that's you know it's it doesn't it seems like small potatoes in this context. But kill, yeah, the the fact that he killed five people yep. and not it's like oh he was caught because like the Golden State Killer we took him off, but he was caught from like some DNA test that like his right. daughter did or something, some crazy shit. Like mm-hmm. not this guy. He's either dead or he's still alive and just kicking it and works at Kmart or something yeah. like nobody knows. And I think that's, that's the craziest part of this is that. Yeah. The people, the person they think it was is dead, but you don't actually know. That's the, well, did but you yeah. see that there was a, a, like a team of code crackers that 
think they cracked another cipher that I yeah. read something briefly about it. I didn't read and that I deep into it. it. Like nobody followed up yeah. on it. Well, the um, the agency, not agency, but the people that were investigating him yeah. originally said we have known of this name. We don't think it's this guy. We think it's the Arthur Lee Allen. Uh, Arthur Lee Allen. They they still one hundred percent think it's that guy. They're both dead, so it doesn't really matter at this point. But I mean, that's who Graysmith swore it was. I, he I had mean, him pegged look, in the book. Looking at all the, ev- it's hard to not go with the him. But the- not, not evidence, but the he's got the watch with the same sign, the zodiac sign. He's got he was in all the places for all the murders. Like, yeah, it's hard to go against the. It's just the writing. The I think was the biggest bump, right? Like his writing never matched. Matched, yeah. And they said he was. Um, What's ambidextrous the, ambidextrous yeah but they couldn't prove it or something like that yeah what it was yeah that's a scary part of the movie the other thing too that really scared me was when the family is like yeah he would mis- misspell like words christmas with two, two you know, S's. yeah, yeah. Two, i'm like dude that's that's got to be the guy right? right like so it seemed like they might have i can't believe that the the san francisco pd and all these you know excellent law enforcement agencies are bumbling fucking idiots when it comes to like obvious right data you know, like, I mean, but, it seems like they're going on the like, well, that's it's against policy to incriminate someone on that. But it's like, OK, but you kind of fucking have to. Right. Like, yeah, I mean, this, it's the closest thing to a smoking gun. Yeah. <laughs> but he he does get off. I mean, he does not he go did, to jail or never did. He was. Well, did he where did he did he go to jail for something? Did Arthur Lee Allen go to jail? Uh, I, I don't he, remember. Or wasn't he one of the only ones to write? I don't think so. I don't know. I forget how that worked, but uh, there just there's some just co- coincidences. So, okay, so, something to consider, which I think this is. There's obviously a lot of things about this guy that stands alone. Mm-hmm. Another thing, he was killing for the most part higher class uh, or like upper middle class white mm-hmm. white people. Mm-hmm. He wasn't prostitutes. He wasn't luring people in that were like you know drifters. It was like. He was killing people that were like the least likely demographic to get murdered. Mm -hmm. And I think that says something too. I know we gave him a body count of one and I'm fine with that. That has something that that's got to carry some merit because like these people here can carry merit more in like style. Like, like the, yeah, these people that he were killing were not just like, you know, yeah, again, not a prostitute, not some guy walking down the street or whatever. And and he lured him in with, you know, paying him to come to his house and hang Mm -hmm. out. It was like, these were, upper upper middle class white people that he was killing which you know and and in places that were not real remote no exactly no, yeah, and the, the, the being in san francisco part i think has so much to do with the lore of him is like yeah how the fuck did he get away with it dude there's not yeah. a tree for a fucking 50 miles in that and city like and, and there's people walking around all times of the day yeah, it's almost like, like a mm-hmm. goddamn island like <laughs> that's why he scares me yeah I, it's even crazy he's not impressive on paper he's terrifying because um, it's like he, he was amongst you and you didn't know who he was and he had, his methodology was not, it was, it was more random. Yeah. It was, yeah. it was random, but he was talking to you. Yeah. Yeah. That's what's scary. Yeah. There me. was like a direct line of communication. Yeah. Like whether or not it was this Arthur or Lee guy, whatever it yeah. was, right. Whether or not it was him, whether or not somebody else was like, somebody was communicating to the police that was involved with these murders to, or at least to believe that was fucking with the police, whether or not that he did it that this guy did it I was like it was still creepy as fuck like <laughs> yeah the taunting of the police is scary the thing that's always bothered me about that case is it, you never you never could assume that the person you were dealing with was actually the guy that pulled the triggers or did any of the crimes you just can't you can't be certain right but um it's a scary case in either way so i mean i think for for style is that we're on yeah we're, we're on gruesomeness oh gruesomeness gruesomeness like one? one yeah i mean he's yeah, not one. he's not yeah. impressive yeah just He's, he's, he's more of a bank robber when it comes to gruesomeness. Yeah. yeah. Uh, style, five. I think he's a five. It's yeah. got to be He five, invented right? the taunt, right? right. He's got to be the most polarizing of this whole entire list, right? As far as fives and ones. I mean. Uh, yeah. He's very, very, so two ends of the spectrum. He's what, a 12? Yeah, he's a 12. Which is interesting because if if you were to name Zodiac, you would have think you would have thought, oh, th- this guy's coming off of 18, 19. Yeah. 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 But he's actually one of the lower end ones. Yeah. Which I feel that's honest. I feel like it is too. Unless we put a category for name. <laughs> yeah, then he. Yeah. yeah. He might take the cake then. Yeah. I don't know. Vampire Sacramento still does. It's true. That's a good one. 
All right. All right. We're here to the last. What do we got? Last two? two. All right. We saved some pretty good ones for last. So we'll do Ted Bundy. Um, probably, I mean, if you had to go like, I think when you Googled, like if you took a random poll of like ser- most notable serial killers, He's, people are probably going to say Ted Bundy, Jeffrey, Jeff, Dahmer, Jeff, Jeffrey Dahmer, yeah. and then like Zodiac, Zodiac, right? It's gotta be Zodiac I mean, or, uh, I mean, Craigslist killer. Like, no, it's, 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 it's for sure. Ted Bundy and Jeffrey Dahmer. And Jeffrey Dahmer. Yeah. Those, those yeah. are the top two. Well, as those far guys as pop transcend culture. generations. Yeah. Like, right. You you know we weren't necessarily around, and we know of all of them. I mean, Bundy was or not Bundy, but um, Dahmer was definitely. I was young, but I think Bundy was a bit earlier. He was seventies. Yeah. So, yeah. all right, Ted Bundy, serial killer, kidnapper, rapist. That's his uh, LinkedIn bio. Confessed to thirty murders. True victim total is unknown and could be much higher. Would knock victims unconscious and take them. Oh, and. Sorry. Would knock victims unconscious and take to secondary location to rape and strangle. Sometimes would revisit the victims, grooming and performing sexual acts with the decomposing corpses, decapitated at least 12 victims, and kept some of the heads as mementos in his apartment. On a few occasions, he broke into houses at night and bludgeoned his victims as they slept. Executed on death row by electric chair. He's got nine films. (laughs) That was important. I was just trying to, you know, get the notoriety in there. This guy is famous. He's incredible. Ted Bundy famous. is he's incredibly famous. He is I mean, he's it. Like he's got to he's one of the it ones. Notice the pattern here between him and Dahmer. What are the similarities? But the similarities between him and and, and Dahmer are no code name. Oh. Mm. Yeah. Right? And those happen to be the two like most intelligent guys I believe that we're going to talk about. That's true. Ted Bundy is just so goddamn interesting. He's like, super interesting. He's maybe the most interesting person in like the last. I, 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 he's he's just he's just it it doesn't make any fucking sense. It makes yeah. no sense. And I know you watched the you watched the mm-hmm. Zac Efron movie about him. I watched the documentary about him on Netflix too. I did. It was good. Fucking fascinating. Yeah. He's handsome. Fascinating. He's handsome. Smart. He escaped that scene where he like escaped prison. Like he escaped yeah. prison twice. Yeah. Twice yeah. and like. Ran in the hill and lived in a cabin. Like, what the fuck? And the thing I found myself doing when watching the movie with Zac Efron, I was almost rooting for him. Yeah, in a weird way, right? Yeah. Like, when it's he's gross. like, when he's it's like, gross. yeah, you root for him. Like, like being his own lawyer and everything, I'm like, oh, fucking go, you, dude. Yeah. Like, you're like, wait, no. Like, hold on. <laughs> yeah. It was weird. It, it is weird, but I think that you, it's kind of displaying his charisma. Because yeah. you're like, you can't, even though you know it's bad, you're like, you're falling for, like, everything works. Like, the handsomeness, yeah. the, you know, he, he's charismatic, he's smart, you know, and he looks normal. Uh, you know, I, th- this these are traits that are not off-putting. Yeah. Um, and just the nature of the, you know, they're all women, mostly women, right? I mean. I think they were all women. I think they were all women, Yeah, I don't right? think he had a preference right i mean or, or he i mean yeah we all we with, all know ted bundy i mean he was handsome guy mm-hmm. get with women they would kill him or he would go to their house and well the one so, the one that they they really talked about a lot in the movie was he pretended to have he had a fake cast on mm-hmm. to ha- get another woman to help put like a rowboat or a canoe or something on top of his volkswagen and then when she turned around he just took out a hammer and fucking oh yeah, and then took his cast off, put her in the trunk, and drove away. One of the scariest, um, one of the scariest stories is one of the the women that he picked up, and she's talking about when she got in the car, and there was no fucking door handle oh, inside. Oh and my I, god, that no. like made my skin crawl. Yeah, there's no door handle because it's like yeah, he's she, just, didn't she escape? I think she did. Like she jumped out and got hurt, right? Yeah, it, it was like in a because there was it, that that happened, and then somebody died i think or he got he he killed that person and then another one he tried the no door handle thing and then that lady escaped in like a mall parking lot or something yeah. from what i remember i watched it i watched the whole the documentary on a or the the docuseries on a plane what's the docuseries called it's on netflix i think it's called bunny tapes or something yeah, something like that i don't have to watch that. it's great it's good it's, dude it's really interesting you actually end up kind of um you know like you talk about the rooting thing you kind of end up going okay we're lucky that there was only one ted bundy no, we know of. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like, because yeah. this dude is like working the system, finagling his way. I mean, 
I'm going to be honest. I'm going to give him a five for my, in my opinion. If you want to go four, I buy it. But On body count? Yeah, because. I would give him a five. I'd too. give him a five. I'd give him a five. Because he's all over the map. Yeah. And he's, and yeah. He, it's I like, believe he killed more because he's smart. Yeah. The, and the, yeah, the being, it's like the, the polar opposite is the, is Gary Ridgway, right? It's like yeah. not smart. No. Nope. Still did a bunch. Right. That's the weirdness, right? It, because yeah. we're not going on pure. What I but like I about think, this again, system. this guy got his shit off by fucking with the police, mm-hmm. by using his handsome to like lure like the G- Gary Ridgeways of the world were just like fucking kill. That's it, yeah. like unrefined. And the difference That's between it. him and Ridgeway also is they offered him the same deal. We won't kill you if you give us you know the locations of everything and admit to this. He's like fuck that. I didn't do it. Yeah. Stuck to his guns. Yeah. Until the day that he goes electric chair, he confesses to everything. Well, to 30 of them. Yeah. Which is also really weird because, um, like what do you, do you believe that? Do you believe that he needed to do that? It's, it seems out of character. Like it does. I, th- well, the way that, again, I'm just going off the movie, which is obviously a yeah. movie and not the actual thing, but the way they made it seem in the movie is that he was, giving the media what they wanted to keep him alive longer to get more out of him. But they ended up killing him anyway. Right. So and again, I don't know what about that is true or not, but yeah, it just seems like you would expect him to, to go to the grave. Like, no. Yeah. Like that's the ultimate fuck with the media. Right. I don't know. Stealth. The guy's stealthy. Yeah. Is this a, f- he could be a five. Is this a five? So. Yeah, he could be a five. five. I mean, he's he's stealthy. He got a lot of people in those cars. The fucking the arm issue. You Did know, he, and he went to Florida and like somehow got a different ID, tricking people. And he, the, or he said, when he escaped prison, he ended up in Florida. He ended up in Florida and like didn't he get a, another ID? God, we did not do enough research. There was too I much know, new well, research in a short amount of time. But yeah. like, I'm pretty sure from what well, I remember, I know he got stopped in Florida, uh, like a traffic stop, and then he ended up fucking like running from the cop, like on foot. Yeah, but I th- yeah, I, th- I think the only reason that he wasn't arrested on site is because he had like a fake ID or something. He he somehow got a fake ID and. Hmm. Yeah, and it's yeah, Maybe it's like it's like this guy was not hiding in the shadows. No, he was, he was not, and he again, he was, he was not preying on like prostitutes or low lives. It's like these were college women and college like, yeah. beautiful, charismatic women that had everything going for them. With you know, it's it's not like these these girls were like I don't know they they weren't they weren't living off in the cuts. They weren't. No. I mean, they were educated Ed- yeah. exactly yeah. Like- extreme confidence and that's scary yeah. on his part extreme yeah. confidence i would say so we've got so i think he's gonna like for me he's gonna fall short on gruesome on gruesome big yeah. time but he's gonna be really well, although, high in style although he was chopping people's heads i was gonna off say he just said he, he decapitated 12 with a hacksaw he was just sitting there <laughs> I, okay so i'm comparing I'm looking at the like uh, exploration of human, you know, mm-hmm. remains and necrophilia and all that stuff, and you know what Chase and Dahmer and, and some of these other fuckers did. And I'm looking at the hacks on. It seems like a means to an end in order to bury a body or to. It seems very. But he also kept some of the heads in his apartment. Yeah, that part is weird. Okay, maybe he doesn't drop for me. Maybe he's like a three. I think a three or four. Yeah, I was thinking three. But yeah. I definitely think he's a five for style. I agree. Because he's a fucking ninja. A it key. just it makes no sense that he escaped prison twice. That, <laughs> I, I, that's the part I don't understand. That's the part I don't get. Is he all. an 18? That's an 18. That's holy that's shit. Second. I'm glad we Number saved two. these last two for last. I mean, he's, you know, he's uh, he is in the goat category he sure is. for a reason. And when you break these down, you kind of look at it and it makes sense. Yeah. You know. Man, Ted Bundy. Although I knew coming into this Ted Bundy was going to be He up was going to be just, up there, yeah. Just thinking, I was like Zodiac Killer is going to be a weird one because I just don't getting into it and talking about it, I just don't know how we're going to really ultimately feel about it but i feel like we got um we got to a good place with them yeah um all right last albert one fish least. this is one of my this motherfucker's gross yep <laughs> this is one so i went to go pick up sushi today and i was in the parking lot it's of wikipedia right yeah you. i know and i was like i was reading his wikipedia and i was like oh my god yeah, like really going through that's like okay 
He's sick. Albert Fish is a serial killer, child rapist, child murderer, and cannibal. Suspected in five murders, confessed to three, and confessed to two stabbings. Victims, Francis McDonald, age... Oh, sorry, these are all the ages. You put all the ages. Um, so, yeah, eight between the ages of five and 17. We're all eight of Four them. Four and 17. Four and 17. Sorry. This fucking guy. Um. Okay, sorry. I'm going to try and find the the part that I was reading. Okay, okay, okay. Here we go. This might might be a little long, but it's worth it. Okay. By 1890, at age 20, Fish arrived in New York City, and he said that he... He said at, at that point became a prostitute and began raping young boys. In... 1898, his mother arranged a marriage for him with Anna Mary Hoffman, who was nine years his junior, which I'm assuming nine years younger. They had six children, and they name all the children. Don't care. Throughout 1898, Fish worked as a house painter, and he continued. He said he continued molesting children, mostly boys younger than the age of six. He later recounted an incident with a male lover when a male lover took him to a wax museum, where Fish was fascinated by the bisection of a penis. After that, he became obsessed with sexual mutilation. In 1903, he was arrested for grand larceny, convicted, and incarcerated in Sing Sing. I don't know what, what's grand larceny. Isn't that like stealing? Is that theft? I think yeah. So. Okay. Around 1910, while he was working in Williamton, Delaware, Fish met a 19-year-old boy named Thomas Kedden. He took Kedden to where he was staying, and the two began, began a Sodom... Sodom acoustic, I don't know, sodomy. Masochist? Sodomasticus relationship, thank you. It is unclear whether or not Fish forced Ken to do these things, but in his confession he implies that the man was intellectually disabled. After 10 days, Fish took Ken to an old farmhouse where he began to torture him. The torture took place over two weeks. Fish eventually tied Ken up, cut off half of his penis, and this is a quote, I shall never forget his scream or the look he gave me. Fish later recalled... Oh, Fish later recalled. He originally intended to kill Kedden, cut up his body, and take it home, but he feared the hot weather would draw attention to him. Instead, Fish poured peroxide over the wound, wrapped it in Vaseline, wrapped it in a Vaseline-covered handkerchief, left a $10 bill, kissed Kedden goodbye, and left. Took the first train I could get back home, never heard what became of him, or tried to find out. Jesus Christ. But we don't ever know what happened to Kedden, do we? Mm-mm. Okay, because I have a question about that when you're done. Sorry. Because there's a part, there's an x-ray of Fish's pelvis, which introduced evidence at his trial demonstrating more than two dozen self-embedded needles. So, like, he liked to shove needles into his pelvis, I guess. Mm -hmm. Um, In about about 1919, Fish stabbed an intellectually disabled. This guy likes stabbing the intellectually disabled, apparently. I didn't. He's a sick fuck. I didn't realize that. Intellectually disabled boy in Georgetown, Washington. He chose people who were either mentally handicapped or African American as his victims, explaining that he assumed these people would not be missed when killed. Fish would later wow. claim to have occasionally paid boys to procure other children for him. Fish tortured, mutilated, and murdered young children with his implements of hell a meat cleaver, a butcher knife, and a small handsaw. On July 11, 1924, Fish found eight-year-old Patrice Keel playing alone on her parents' farm in, on Staten Island, New York. He offered her money to come help her look for him. F- offered her money to come help him look for rhubarb. She was about to leave the farm when her mother chased Fish away. Fish left, but later returned to Keel's barn where he tried to sleep, but was discovered by Beatrice's father and forced him to leave. Three days later, Fish killed Francis McDonnell also on Staten Island. During 1924, 54-year-old Fish, suffering from psychosis, felt that God was commanding him to torture and sexually mutilate children. I swear, isn't there a part where he was, like, writing letters to the family? Or writing letters to somebody about how the kids tasted? Yeah, um, he talks about, like, eating, like, parts of the kids. Eating their butt. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Specifically their butts? Mm Mm-hmm. Okay, you you, you guys do your writing thing. Yeah, he just recounts eating the the bum of a young boy, and it's disgusting. It's so hard to... So, this guy on... Here's my problem with Albert Fish. Uh, I actually don't know if he's, like, legit, if he really did any of this. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I don't, I don't know for sure. Th- this is a time where record-keeping was, you know, at best, shoddy. Um, and who just one day admits this? I mean, was he ever caught? Was there, like, a... 
he was executed, or I think he or he died at some point in prison. But like, was there a moment where like they're like, oh, this is where all the kids have been going? They've been missing. Like, okay, hold on. Here, this might be kind of good. Okay, another letter from Fish to his attorney regarding him cannibalizing four-year-old Billy Gaffney. I brought him to the I brought him to the River Avenue dumps. There's a house that stands alone not far from there where I took him. I took the boy there, stripped him naked, and tied his hands and feet and gagged him with a piece of dirty rag I picked up from the dump. Then I burned his clothes, threw his shoes in the dump. Then I walked back and took a trolley to 59th Street at 2 a.m. and walked walked there from home. Next day, about 2 p.m., I took tools, a good heavy cat of, cat of, cat of nine nails... Homemade short homemade short handle. Cut one of my belts in half. Slit these halves into six strips about eight inches long. I whipped his bear behind till the blood ran from his legs. I cut off his ears, nose, and slit his mouth from ear to ear. Gouged his eyes. He was dead. I stuck the knife in his belly and held out my mouth to his body and drank his blood. I picked up I picked up four old potato sacks and gathered a pile of stones. Then I cut him up. I had a grip with me. I put his nose and ears and a few slices of his belly in the grip. Then I cut him through the middle of his body just below the belly button. Then the two... Then through the legs about two inches below his behind. I put my grip... I I put this in my grip with a lot of paper. I cut off the head, feet, arms, hands, and the legs below the knee. This I put in sacks, sacks weighed with stones tied the ends and threw them into pools of slimy water you will all see along the road of the north beach um I'll, I'll, this is the part he talks about cooking them cooks them in like some celery and some carrots salt and pepper it was good in about two hours it was nice and browned cooked through i i never ate any roast turkey that tasted half as good as his sweet fat little behind did I ate every bit of meat in about four days. His little monkey was as sweet as a nut, but his peewees, I could Come not on, chew, man. threw them in the toilet. So he, he ate his dick, but couldn't eat his balls? No, but like, doesn't this, this sounds, this is so colorful. I know. It makes you wonder if it's real. Yeah. His little monkey? His peewee? I mean, these are, <laughs> fun, I mean, and why is he telling... See the thing that I don't understand about Albert Fish is like, why? Why is he? Why is he talking about all this now? And how did they ever find these kids? Did they ever find this the sacks of meat that? I, I don't recall much about him. I just knew he was gross, but I don't remember like if that's they all were, I can figure from this anyway. I don't know. I mean, there's a picture of there's a picture of Grace Bud like alive, like a a picture of her like she existed. She was real. Um. Yeah, I, I don't know. Um, he spent 108 days in jail between his arrest and trial. For like, I don't know. How it did was, they find him? All I know let's, is let's for, put, for gruesomeness, he's getting a five. He has to. He has to. I just you know I don't. I don't want to pull from you know the, the thunder. Take yeah. away the thunder from legitimate fucking wackos. But, True. But I don't know, I, and I hate being the like. Thing. so do we go I, I, on I guess, that well, being I, fact then I, I guess because he it says that these letters were written like from him to his attorney to give to the parents like th- you know this guy wasn't just like in like a living in a shoe like yeah. writing these letters and sending them off like this is when he was he got caught and was like gonna die in prison or get executed or something like although if you knew you were going to get executed, you'd pro, you know, and, and you're this fucking psycho, you'd probably write some pretty weird shit. If you were, if you were in the headspace to write to your victim's parents, like, yeah. I could see you doctoring up some of the stuff just to make it that more fucked up if you're that already that fucked up. Well, what I do, here's the part that I'm struggling with is like, how did you connect the murders to fish mm-hmm. and why, and, and why did you apprehend fish? And, other than him writing these letters, obviously, that's how you know it's him. But like, what was the catalyst for arresting him? And and I don't know if that's even covered. Yeah, I'm not seeing it. There's just like there's a bunch of stuff on his execution, but not a bunch on like anything else. I mean, obviously, some ki- if the kids went missing, that makes sense, right? Right, but 
because I mean, if it's so, let's just let's treat him as if he's legitimate. Then I mean, I just the writing is very, it's very over the top. Mm-hmm. You know, like like somebody who's like a cooking show. I guess. Right. I mean, you yeah. Know? If you saw this guy in his little top hat, I mean, this oh, guy, yeah. it's like his little monkey. Like I could see the psychopath writing his, his, his little monkey <laughs> in his balls or whatever the fuck that he couldn't chew. Peewees. 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 Yeah. I mean, that's I mean, it's fucking gross. It's man. super gross. Um, I mean, he's for body count, man. The guy's a, he's a five, right? What was his body count? Uh, it was like f- oh it w- it was five yes yeah so five people I mean that's five it's not many people no granted yeah, they're I, all like under ten that's the thing uh, like seventeen was all was there seventeen yeah but yeah I feel like a mm, like a two two I'm good with two yeah I mean it's it's yeah because it's not really about the type of bodies right now stealth. I mean, luring kids. Uh, that's yeah. I think it's. I think it's. I really expected this guy to be like rated much higher, but after you know, it was in the eighteen hundreds. I think his body count kind of. That's what fucks him on this one. Yeah. You know. I mean. But then again, you couldn't have a higher body count with what he's doing. I mean, he's eating people. Yeah. Like, should we give him a three? He might. You might bump him up. Yeah. Give him a three. We'll throw him a bone. Because I don't think, I think for what he accomplished, which is so gross. I mean, <laughs> what he accomplished was like, if he's sitting there and he's actually eating all these people, kids, I mean, it's gross. But you, if they were just, if he was just killing people otherwise, like you'd probably kill more. Right. Um, but the stealth is, he's not too stealthy though, is he? It doesn't seem like it. No. Um, Especially since you like just, came clean with letters and stuff yeah. yeah um i don't know like a two yeah and the fact that he would just walk up when she, grace bud was in her yard at her house yeah and no. then be ran off by the parents like you know that's he's a, not very stealthy yeah. he's and a i guess i guess i mean it's like the eight you know late 1800s like everything was stealthy <laughs> like there was not really any way to track anybody down you know yeah that's i mean true. the one thing about stealth for him which is weird is you could could you could you give him points for this taking place in a cabin? You know, taking consideration the time period, um, but at the same point, I I still think he's like abducting kids in broad daylight. Mm-hmm. You know, that seems more stupid than stealthy. Yeah, right. Um, but you know, he just didn't seem to be that guy. He doesn't seem like a stealthy guy. Yeah, I give him I give him like a two. Yeah, I'm good with two. Does anybody have a one in the stealth? Yeah, a lot of two. people. Yeah, okay. Richard Chase and Samuel Little. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Okay, that feels right. All right, yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm cool with the two. So are you, it's five for gruesome. Yeah. Yeah, um, five for gruesome. Style for, I mean, creative writing, because uh, dis- that's fucking gross. Yeah. It's disturbing. I like, it, the fact that somebody came up with that is gross. Like, right. whether or not it's him or it's, like, somebody right. else, I mean, that's just disgusting. But like, well, we don't know, like, there's no accounts of anybody finding any of this stuff, like, He's just saying what he did. And that would make sense that, like, he ate them, he did all this stuff. But don't you think it would be interesting if there was, like, if there was some documentation or data or whatever on what they found at his house? Mm hmm. Yeah. No, nothing. There's no. nothing. No, not, not, again, not from what I saw. And I know yeah. that we probably should have done more due diligence, but we had, like, two days to, really, a so, day and a half to. So he, 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 he jacks up on the. On style and, and gruesome. He, yeah, he got a 15 total. So he, he tied with John Wayne Gacy for fourth. I mean, feels right. does. But so is that it? We're done? That, that's, that's 10? It. That's 10. Oh my God, we did it. Okay. Did you guys have, just out of curiosity, the, the ones that didn't make it? Was, uh, was Holmes on there? No. Holmes, no. H.H. H. Holmes? Mm-hmm. Oh man, you should read about him. That guy, I think he'd have, he'd have been a 20. Really? You should read about him at some point. Oh, the man. guy built a murder castle. Oh, wow. with like trap doors that people fall. Should have mentioned him at the beginning. We we well, no. Him in. Here's why I didn't want to do that. It's because I feel like I would have recommended him because I knew he was like over the top. But a lot of these, I, f- I feel like they're they're, they're really good competition. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know? kind and, of an even yeah. playing field. And plus, I didn't want to know what you had. 
That's true. That was sounded really fun. That's true. So awesome. Well, as fucked up as it was, that was really fun. That was yeah. fun. Um, Sam, give us our list from bottom to top. Worst to best. Worst to best. All right. Worst was Samuel Little. We got a five overall. Okay. Uh, second worst was Robert Hansen with a nine point five. And then we have Zodiac and Eileen tied at a twelve. Man. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh. Gary Ridgeway at a ten. So he Gary was, Ridgeway had a 10. Okay. Yeah, and then Eileen and Zodiac with a 12. Oh, okay. That's surprising. It is, yeah. I wouldn't have thought, but that's where we are. I wouldn't have either. Um, and then you have um, John Wayne Gacy and Albert Fish tied at a 15. Hmm. You then have, in third place, Richard Chase with a 16. Second was Ted Bundy with an 18. And number one was Dahmer with a 19. A wow. Near, a near D- perfect score. Dahmer. Mm, yeah. I mean, he has... He has I knew he was going to be high. I would have thought... Marks. I would have thought Bundy would have been higher. Dahmer, you know where he where he excels is his his body count. His Yo. body count and then his style and gruesome. Yeah. He, he just... And stealth, too. Yeah. Yeah, yeah the, wow. only, the only point he got dinged, he got dinged one point for stealth. And uh, Bundy got dinged two for gruesomeness. He was not very gruesome. Because I also think of stealth is like also how they got caught too. Yeah. Like mm-hmm. I, I, stealth is a weird one because you have to factor in not only how they're doing it, mm-hmm. but then how how it led to their arrest a little bit too. And then, you know, how are they were able to keep doing it. Yeah. I thought, honestly, I thought we did a really good job with just the rankings. Like none of them seem like, one of them was higher just for recency bias of what we were reading. It felt like we were good at kind of talking through it. Right. And like. Agreed. Yeah. That was fun. That was really, that was, cool. that was really fucked up. It was dark and really fun. Perfect for Halloween. Yeah. 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 That's exactly. Yeah. Perfect for Halloween. Well, we've been doing this. So, wow. Well, three, like three, four, five, six, seven, eight, five and a half hour. <laughs> yeah. How do you do that? I didn't even know that I, I didn't even know I could talk for five hours. I know. I can't believe we sat here for five and a half hours and did a podcast. But that yeah. was so fun. Jordan. Yeah. Thank you guys. Thank you, man. Yeah. I'm so glad that Appreciate our timing it. finally matched up and yeah. you were able to come out. I'm sad we didn't we still had another thing planned. That's for next time. Third we did, time. We did the we still have the draft. I'm that, local, man. So we'll leave a secret. But I'm always happy to that do. was awesome. Might have to do the next one over Zoom. Maybe. We, yeah, we'll we'll figure it out, whatever we gotta do. But Jordan, thank you, man. Yeah, thank Sam, you guys. thank you for contributing and doing all the stuff. But yeah, this was awesome. Happy Halloween. Yeah, happy, happy Halloween. 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 Oh.